In fact, that's probably how I'm going to introduce this once I see people talking, if that happens. OBS is still behaving really weirdly. It is? How so? Just the, uh, back in the day I would, I would hit stream, and then depending on my options in my um, control panel, if you will, for live streaming, that would fix it. Like, in terms of, I hit stream on here, and it does things according to what I've said in there, but that doesn't seem to happen anymore. If I click this... No, I don't want to create a new live stream. Well, we've got people are in, but... Oh, that's good. We'll have to, like, try not to do Wait anything significant for a little bit, just to see, yeah, see what happens. Yeah, we'll give Hello, it everyone. We'll We're testing out. to see if I'm able to stream EFAP or not. This is not a main EFAP. This is... this is. I could have called it pl test, please ignore, but I mean... Uh... Fine, I think... Where do I find this stream? Create a new live stream. Copy and create. I don't want to create a new live stream. <sighs> I don't have to make this difficult. Well, if it wasn't difficult, it wouldn't be YouTube. Exactly. I'm just trying to find how I can even change the options for this stream right now. My channel grows since making oh. it. Shut up, me. All right, there it is. It exists. That's we've gone that far. How do I edit it? That is that is the fascinating moment I'm trying to get at right now. So manage this one. It, it even has the correct thumbnail, but like it just ignores that the thumbnail exists. All right, edit title and description. View on YouTube. Get shareable link. Let's view on YouTube to get chat on screen first. How about that? I love that this is something I have to do every time now. This is not annoying mm -hmm. at all. All those people who say things right at the beginning, what, what have you got to say about them, YouTube? Those poor souls. Poor YouTube and their ability to not do anything at all that's ever helpful in any way. That's a skill. Eventually you'd think you'd mess up and do something good. Edit title and description. How do I edit the thumbnail? How about that, YouTube? Can you give me that ability? That would be great. Well, that's supposed to be the easy part. Uh, stream, latency, URL, key, analytics. Nope, 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 nope. None of what I'm looking for. Edit. Is this going to lead me to... There we go. Change thumbnail. Even though it's currently the accurate thumbnail, let me just change it and see if it changes the actual one to the correct one. Oh. Bilge. I'm going to have to, like, maybe consider using something that isn't... Or reinstall Streamlabs OBS. I don't really know. Because I can't be asked to do this mm. every time. This is just really awkward. I know I knew not to update it whenever I asked, uh, asked yeah, me to update or said there was a new update. You. I was like, nope. <laughs> like, these things, like, they just come on, and the best you could do is hit cancel, that it just fucks up everything. And I was like, oh, shit. So, uh... You want to use our new and improved version, right? No, no, just give me what works. <laughs> Please, I'm stop. I, I know the old one works. It's perfect the way Ooh, it is. Oh, I best set it as not made for kids. Excellent. Oh, yes. Done and done. Okay. All right, is everything... Chat, is everything running fine for the most part? Is the title correct? Is the thumbnail correct? Is everything else running as per usual? Alright, thumbnail hasn't updated yet, but hey. It's okay. Because the, the point of this stream is to test whether or not I can actually stream. So we need to make it pass. I think we made it to 20 minutes on the Sargon one. So as long as we can pass 20 minutes, we can assume that things are okay-ish. That's not so bad. Um, which means, uh, I guess we'll we'll open with saying updates, or at least what's planned. So, people people have asked me in the Discord, like, oh, what's uh, what's happening with EFAB? And I'm like, I don't want to commit to anything, but the current trajectory is that tomorrow, at around this time or a few hours earlier, we will be redoing the stream that was meant to happen last time. It got interrupted because. A specific wire that provides my household with uh, internet access slash like landline has been damaged. They said it was damaged by a storm. How does a wire that's underground get damaged by a storm? I'm not saying it's impossible. It's earthquake. I just, it's, Earth it, earthquake storm. But it, but it wasn't an earthquake. <laughs> it's fine. It happened. We're gonna have to get it replaced. Um, Do you but live that's on not a fault line. 
I don't think so. Britain is very, uh, very much away from any... I don't even know if we've had an earthquake. And if we ever do, it's always one that's like, oh, that happened? I didn't even notice. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. But, um, uh, they want to be able to fix it at some point. They haven't specified when. The longer they take, the more they have to compensate us in terms of, like, costs, I guess, because we've paid for yeah. this service, obviously. So, yeah. um, I imagine that the day they come up to dig it all up and replace all the wires, I probably won't have internet for that day. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen on any day that I really need internet. Like, the coming few days slash, uh, the 21st. Because that would be unfortunate, but, uh, hands are tied. You know, what, what can you do? This is, this is just the reality of existence. And so, um, the interest today is in, um, I've got, I've got, there's two things me and Rags gotta take care of. One being that... We've got a lot of backlogged Super Chats that we can actually answer. And two, I don't even know if I can stream. So this is a test, and it seems to be working okay so far. So we'll have to, um, have to see how it goes. Yeah, let's give it a shot. <clears throat> you know, it would be an amazing superpower if you could just, like, exude Wi-Fi signal. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like, That'd you know, once the future gets far enough that you'll be telling people, like, you know, the internet used to be something you could only get be, through a box. You had to go to Specific, you had to use, you had to plug a cord into your computer to get the internet. Daddy, the internet comes from the, the air, and you're like, oh, well. It used to be on a fucking floppy drive. <laughs> you children are spoiled. I used to download TV shows while eating dinner and watch them in 480p. Um, so yeah, that's the update. EFAP on Friday, if everything goes fine, and then EFAP on Saturday, if everything goes fine as well. We're getting a double, double bill. And then, next week, we've got a certain movie coming out. You heard about this one, Rags? It's called, uh, S Star Wars. The... It's like... The... The war... Yeah. It's like a medieval, like, futuristic thing. There's people with swords, is, I don't know. Is it know. a fantasy? Is it a fantasy story? No, I'm pretty sure it's like some kid's space. cartoon thing. But, uh, people want us to talk about it, so I figured that we might... Have a oh look, see, goodness. if you will. People don't like that, do they? That sounds really juvenile. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds like it's meant for children. It totally is. And, like, oh these people just don't know that. Anyway, um, the whole, like, may as well just get on with why we're here, sort of, which is to catch up with Super Chats. So we're going to read them out, get through as many as we can before either the stream gives up or one of us needs to depart for any reason. Um, should work out pretty okay, I think. Yeah. I've got... Yeah. Um, the Streamlabs ones, and then ones from the Arlo stream that were close to finishing, then ones from the first portion of the stream that we did, and the second one that ended up having to... I had to delete it, by the way, the second part of going live with uh, Sargon and Arch, because uh, it just permanently said it was live, and people were commenting on it. Oh my goodness. And I couldn't get rid of it. Live forever. No sleep, no rest. Like, I'm not gonna say that YouTube screwed up. Oh my god, we've got Guitar Musician is back. Guitar musician. This we had them before. Let's see if okay. This is gonna really test my abilities as a um as as a host of a stream trying to prevent spam. Be nice to the spammer, he's just trying to share his opinion on I think it was Star Wars. I can't actually remember anymore. Oh it was Joker, I think, actually. Um but yeah, if I go set in Joker was channel, great. I think there's a way to like ban yeah. All right, I'm just gonna ban the shit out of a lot of Chinese. <laughs> like I've just taken that's, the selection, and that's don't, never been a bad strategy. Don't fret, people. If you want to speak Chinese in future streams, I will unban the ban eventually. But for now, it's just to prevent guitar musician from interrupting your experience, and it also tests my abilities to actually get rid of spam people. So, hey, look, it looks like it's working. What do you know? You proud of me, Rice, as a host? I am proud of you. You're a moderator Thank now. Goodness. That's the thing, even moderators have uh, trouble locking those down because you just get new ones in. But if you block specific things being said, they have, uh, they have trouble getting through it, I guess. Um, Alright, let me find where we were. And then I can continue. Give it a shot. Uh, do do do. I, I don't remember us reading these, so I'm just going to go from here and skip some if, if we have or have not. Um, 
What would Lord of the Rings be like if you just replaced Gandalf with Hitler? Same powers and everything, just you have Hitler. I like to think he'd just go around calling Sauron and Saruman Utamensch. I don't think it would play well for audiences, personally. That's my take. I think the, they would probably take issue. Um, I think it would also be hilarious. Yeah, I think it would be really, really funny. It would It would certainly... Hitler is generally viewed as a controversial character. Um, That's what we for found, For reasons yeah. obviously dependent on, you know, whoever you're asking. Mm -hmm. But there's no reason he wouldn't fit right in with Middle-earth. Yeah. Uh, and I really want to see scenes of him giving advice to Frodo. Like, just really yeah. genuine good advice. And it's just like, what's... On how to lead a country and govern a people and stuff like that, you know. I think it could work. It'd be fun. Nothing controversial. Just basic, basic life advice. And I think that if we really just, just focus on the advice and ignore the fact that he's Hitler, it should be fine. Does anyone, anyone see any problem with that? I don't think so. Right in with Middle-earth. Um, can't say that it would, the, the, the film would maintain the same success. Can't, can't promise that. Gonna... He wouldn't start out white, though, which is the, the issue. That would be his arc, mm -hmm. is that Hitler becomes white. It which is, white. which as the Lord of the Rings says, is the superior color. So it seems yeah, to me not, like the Lord not, of the Rings would, it would validate his, his views. That's not us saying it. That's not Hitler saying it. That is Lord yeah, of the Rings saying it. Yeah, this is just the source it. material, if anything. We're being objective, okay? Uh, right, moving on. Jay Longbone needs to be decolonized. When she's using the N-word, she's literally denying the humanity of her black allies. She's committing imperialism against the black experience on behalf of the white patriarchy of objective media criticism. Just smash that patriarchy button. <laughs> Undeniable truths. So this this one. Hello, all my J Longbone words. Love you, Wolf. Wags, you're a wascally wagamuffin. Um, yeah, that's not untrue. Good luck dealing with motion picture Robertson. Let the lengthening continue. Oh, we dealt with him. We survived. I feel like that's our either third or fourth outing with Robert now. Which yeah, means we great. Uh, that we could be taken down for harassment anytime now. Yeah, because of how terrible the rules are, it's really tough to... Mm. I don't know if you know this, uh, wonderful EFAP chat, but Gokinaru's video doing a takedown of H3H3 and iDub's video doing a takedown of Leafy have both been removed from YouTube uh, under harassment... breaches of the harassment policy, retroactively, by the way, which is just wonderful. Yeah, I love retroactive shit. <clears throat> so it's unfortunate, oh but that seems to be the reality we're in, and obviously you can re-upload these things, but I'm more concerned about the creators getting completely slashed for this. Seems unfair. Yes. Um, just another step toward YouTube really encouraging people to leave. Not gonna say it's gonna happen anytime soon, but they're not helping themselves. Absolute um, cancer. Play Kylo's theme. Kylo gets launched off a platform and falls to his death. Play Ra's theme. Oh yeah, I mean... If Ra had a theme, it should very much play when he's pushed off that that mountain slash cliffside. It's gonna be great. Um, this is for Jamie. Hey King, you drop this. Better hurry. The theater is fifty minutes away, and you only have thirty minutes until joke. Oh, I think I read that one before. Some of these will have been reread, I'm afraid, but that's fine. Um, Mola can't remember his school years. Clearly, an alien pushed the Vuda button. We'll push the button, Vuda. Good yeah, reference to the. Uh, the gaming one, where I think me and Jay were talking about the difference between grades and years. Oh, well, all of us were. Grades and years? Yeah, like, well, <clears throat> in, in um, yeah, yeah, like, we would refer to them as year, year X, Y, and Z, and then you guys would have grades back in the, um, primary versus elementary school, I think it was. Um, okay. there's loads of different names, and the complication came when we realized that in Britain they have different names for schools and years across Britain as well as before we even consider America, so it gets really complicated. And I don't remember any of it, so... <clears throat> oh, not enough of it, and it becomes very confuddling. Um, any chance Anna could join you guys for the Batwoman finale? EFAB reactions and her reviews are my favorite part of the week. Also, well, uh, so for that one, like... We've we've addressed I, this a couple of times, and I don't mind repeating it. It's just that four's already almost too much sometimes um, with reacting um, to an episode. It would be, like, maybe for the very, very final episode, if there was, like, a special something we could get, 
like a bunch of people who do the Batwoman video responses or the re reviews at the end of every episode. Do you mean like episode have... 22 or whatever it is? Something like that, yeah. I mean, I'm not against it's gonna... it. It's just going to be really tough to set that up with all the different time zones and availability. Yeah. Not to mention the fact that, because this is the thing, right? Not only is it a matter of res reacting to things you actually find ridiculous, but you also get an urge to be like, well, I should commentate in some way. And then if you've got people like clashing because of that, like someone, I mean, I've, I've said this before, but you just have a scene, and this is Batwoman, so this happens all the time, where there's like four things wrong, and like three people at the same time want to point them out, and then they clash, and then they, as they're trying to figure out who goes first, second, and third, you actually have the scene continues and stupider things happen. And I just think, like, even more people could end up um, making it a disaster unless we decide to do some kind of, like, watch the episode twice or <laughs> something. Like, uh, knowing more so what happens before seeing it the second time could make for an interesting edit. Um, but, like, I, I know a lot of people want us to collab with, like, other Batwoman reactory people, and I can totally see the appeal for why. Mm -hmm. It's been fun. It has been fun for a while. It has brought smiles to many faces of all colors. The reaction to uh, Infinite Infinitism's part one is on the way, by the way. It will be with you folks. We, we had fun with it, and we've got uh, tomorrow we're checking out another one, I think. Um, okay. Obligatory, you guys still going? Seriously, I appreciate you all so much. May, the, may you lengthen evermore. Thank you very much. You too. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Length for everyone. The frequency of these faps has left me scarred and deformed. <laughs> I would, <laughs> I would hope it heals. Um, blessed Southpaw recently gave Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers some fair criticism on Reddit and YouTube, but he forgot about the worst offense, which is the fumes of toxic masculinity in emitting from Jeremy and his heteronormative car videos. Oh no. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it's pretty offensive to drive a car in general, but to actually Women record videos drive, in it. So, oof, yeah, I guess, yeah. Terrible. Um, sincere thoughts on the detriment to the plot of Eagles and Lord of the Rings movies? Had Elrond and Gandalf used some throwaway line while discussing their options for destroying the ring? That would be great. Nazgul isn't a good enough answer. I think that it's, um, it would have been sealed perfectly tight if there was a throwaway line. As it stands, there is a there is a significant amount to um, infer, um, but it's still it, it's the shakiest part of what you could call the plot of Lord of the Rings. I would probably say outside of maybe uh, addressing the ghosts, I don't like. I'm not the person that says it's like an open and shut case. It's just over, and that people who don't notice this stuff are stupid. I'd be like, no, no, it's there's information there, but it's still a little like, man, we could really have used. Um, a line Just to a address it. I don't know if they do in the books or not. It's been so long since I've read them. Uh, yeah, we'd have to ask Wolf for that, because I, I, I do not know the books. Um, mm -hmm. It is a shame for a man to grow old without seeing the beauty and strength of the movie Sahara 2005, starring Matthew McGonaghy. The plot seems very tight to me. I've seen Sahara when it came out, but I don't remember any of it. Um, I'm sure it's great. And, th and th this one just says, my cream has never been stronger. Oh my goodness. Howdy, Mauler and High Rags. Hello. Hey there. Maybe we should pettily avenge literally by deciding to use figuratively instead. Hey, if we can't save one, why not kill mm. both? I think I may have read that one before as well, but it's okay. It's okay. And as for, um, as for that, I feel like Rags would feel like that's a terrible idea, because that just means that all those, both those words would be destroyed. I don't like it when words are destroyed. <laughs> um, I found out through the UK government memorial program last year that two men with my exact name and two other men with my father's exact name were all killed in Welsh guard units during World War One. Almost certain I've read this before. And four with granddads also. It turns out I'm Welsh and I didn't know. Neat. Ah. I well, just... you'll get over it. Um, oh yeah, I've definitely read that. Um... I, th I think Vulture was a far more believable villain than Mysterio. Uh, what was the latter's plan if after he succeeded... Oh, the Avengers level threat. Yeah, I think I addressed this before, but quickly would just be that he was still what you could call a threat uh, with the drones. He could simulate damaging things while actually damaging them. As in... Not to mention that they would help him actually fight. Yeah, people. like, uh, picture... Um, 
he could probably take on someone like, uh, you know, like the children of Thanos. He could probably kill them. Yeah. There's a good chance, especially with the illusions, man. Like, do not underestimate the illusions. That shit can, like, just fuck with someone completely. You managed to yeah, make uh, Spider-Man Spider get... Spider -Man. Yeah, like... And to be honest with you, like, thinking about it, I would have loved to have seen that. Like, him battling someone who's actually a threat, as and maybe getting that moment where he, like, enjoys being a hero for real. Instead of, like, faking yeah. it all. But, um... Yeah. Yeah. But if, uh, like, Iron Man would be able to see through the illusions, because they're just optical. Um... He'd probably have sensors and stuff, but someone like even Thor may... I think Thor would win because he would just lightning everything around him. Right. But if you... Like someone like on a Black Widow power level, even a Black Panther power level, um, he could, you know, do some serious damage there. Um, um, finally managed to catch you live. Have you ever heard of or played the Star Wars The Old Republic game? It's an MMO, the last thing that's not infected with new canon, and it's eight different class stories, and first two expansions are completely free. I have not. This is what game? Uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, I think. Um, I've heard of it. Never played it, though. Perhaps one day. Um, yeah, I'm just not super... And I just, I'm just not super into Star Wars. We got get to the memes as a donation. It's like, well, uh, I have split the meme video. The meme pictures are all lined up for Saturday. Um, the meme videos I have split into copyright and non-copyright. I just need a time for us to record uh, an EFAP mini offline reacting to all of the copyright ones, and then I can chop it up in post. Um, we'll get we'll get around to that for sure at some point. I know I keep saying that it's going to happen, but I am definitely going to get around to it. I swear to God. It's just I've been busy with stuff. But, I think uh, the, the key here is um, if you're going to make a meme, try your hardest to avoid copyrighted stuff. Yeah, and I have noticed there's been an effort, a couple of videos in our opening with like, this is fine for copyright, do not worry. But then there are some who are just like, their whole point is to sort of make a joke that's based on, you know, a copyrighted thing, so they have no choice, and I understand that. It's just yeah, that after what happened with the Spooda Wars thing, it's just like, we've got to be careful. The last thing we yeah, need we is to lose the ability to even stream at all. We don't know um, what's going to happen. If you're gonna I mean, it's YouTube. Me. Who knows what it could be? Mm -hmm. and it's a risky business. But, um, yeah, uh, it'll happen. No worry. Meme memes are certainly not dead. I've got a shit ton of pictures to get through, and fan art, and, uh, it's gonna be fun. Um, back to Tisms, though. Shad, I recall you saying you really enjoyed the game's Dragon Dogma, if I'm correct, you preferred. I will save that for Mr. Shad, who, um, will hopefully be back to talk about Episode 9 at some point, because I know he's gonna be interested in that. Imagine all the fight scenes. <gasps> he's gonna wanna... <laughs> oh my god, imagine how many fight scenes are gonna be in Episode 9. Oh, there's going to be a lot. And a lot of them are going to be with Kylo and Rey, and it's going to be so shocking to see who could possibly win. Oh my goodness. Who knows? If only there was a way for us to guess. <laughs> uh, they have to do Matrix 4 because they need to make the Chosen One a Whammons. Calling it now. Also, hi, Wags. Hello. I mean, um, who knows what they'll do with Matrix 4. It's, a, it's one of those ones where we're just like, why? <laughs> Please don't. Isn't Matrix 4 coming out the same day as John Wick 4? Oh, is it? Really? Uh, I, th I think so. That's what I heard. Let me double check. Have they even started filming for either of them? May 21st is John Wick 4, and Matrix 4 release date. That seems incredibly... They're both coming out May, May 21st. Yeah, I just checked. Like, that seems... Like, surely that'll change. That seems like a really bad idea. Like... Uh... Yeah, they they are both getting a May twenty first uh, release date, May twenty first. All right. Oh, yeah. Well, Let's I mean, I'll probably check out both of those. Um, yeah. I'm a big fan of John Wick. <laughs> Ooh, I actually finished um, uh, redrafting Metal's John Wick three script with him recently. I've been trying to help him with his uh, debut video, and that hopefully will be done in January. But um, yeah. Next thing now is for him to record the audio, which he's never done before, so that's going to be really interesting to see um, how he's going to do it. But uh, an important step, nonetheless, speaking clearly with the expected inflections and just clarity, that's all. A nice speed, so it'll be interesting to sort of oh, yeah. sort it all out. 
Um, Deacons of the Deep is the Jenny boss fight, boss fight by Rags. That is uh, DS3. Deacons of the Deep is a shit ton of guys, and like only one of them is the one you have to hit to to hurt them significantly, and it keeps changing. Um, mm -hmm. so I can see how it can apply for sure. Oh my goodness. Uh, for Rag slash Wolf, do you have an opinion on Keltec firearms? Um. So, Keltec Firearms, I think they have a worse reputation than they really deserve. Um, I only own two Keltec um, Firearms. I own a pair of Gen 1 um, Sub 2000s. Those are 9mm carbines. And I, I love... One of them I don't really use, because uh, the second one's just better. It's got better uh, attachments on it. And so that's the one I use. But I really, really like it. Um, and I would highly recommend it. It's a really great gun to shoot. Very comfortable, pretty shoot, uh, pretty cheap nine millimeter gun. Um, but I hear all sorts of weird things. Um, I hear the pistols are fine. Uh, the RDB I've heard is pretty good. Um, both the 308 and the 556 one, I've heard they're just fine. Um, but uh, I've heard the KSG is actually really, really good. But if you, I think that's Caltech, um, KS. Oh, the PMR-30 I heard is terrible. Um, the KSG is the... Sh yeah, just checking. Yeah, I've heard good things about the KSG. But I can only speak personally for the Sub-2000, mm -hmm. and it gets a thumbs up. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think Wolf would actually have anything to say on Celtic firearms, as far as I would know. Uh, they go on to say, I bought several myself. They're unique and innovative, but not the most robust of designs. I just got the CP-33, finally a twenty two pistol with more than 10 rounds. Um, yeah, they're certainly interesting. I, I can definitely appreciate the innovation that they do. They're kind of their own thing. That's why they're such a mixed bag in terms of how a lot of people feel about them, especially. But the one I have, I really like. And it's it's all about which individual model you buy. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not consistent. Rewatching EFAP 5, it would make far more sense for Wakandans to farm... Or rocks instead of rhinos. They're the ancestors of cattle, so they'd look right from afar, but they're ferocious enough that the Romans used them for gladiatorial fights like lions. Um, Oroch, could you, uh... Let me see. Orochs, I think they're, they're extinct. I mean, I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, how do you spell that, just to make sure? Uh, A-U-R-O-C-H-S. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are extinct. Yeah, first result says extinct mammal, but maybe there could be an argument that they were still living in Wakanda, but, uh, I guess. If if uh, if they do have aurochs, then yeah, absolutely. They're basically bulls, mm -hmm. uh, large wild cattle. So yeah, they'd, they'd definitely be better than rhinos. Well, there you go. Uh, do, do. Mola, you could legit double your income or better by recording audiobooks. Probably EFAP's entire fan base would buy them if that video makes uh, video you made is any indication, and that's excluding the people who just fap to the sound of your voice. Um, the thing is, like an audiobook takes a long time to get done because you have to do multiple takes for the entire thing and obviously speak clearly. And then, um, depending on what kind of deal you get, you edit it yourself or you or the person edits the edited one, as in, like, you cut out all of the bad takes and then provide them the, um, the raw, because I've done it before, I did a, um, a narrative, like, a narrator reading for, um, Undertale, uh, that was one of my oldest, longest projects outside of the, uh, video game that I did, and, um, as much as, like, you know, it's, it's, it's much less feasible to maintain, and it's not as, I don't find it as rewarding as the, sort of, review work, because I like, that the video exists permanently as a sort of like takedown or or praise of, of a piece of content as opposed to this is a commentary if you enjoy it enjoy it that sort of thing but not out of the question i think that there'll be something in future probably in terms of like doing some kind of recording in some way i i, I could find that pretty fun um but now though I was, um, busy with other stuff doing some reading here uh like apparently they're trying to bring them back uh the arox they have all sorts of uh, species, like heck cattle, and there's Taurus projects and Taurus programs, the Urus project, um, the Arend project. They're trying to, I guess, essentially 
replace them with a we're trying to take modern cattle DNA and bull DNA and stuff like that and kind of like create a replacement for them that's as close to the original as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and apparently there's a there's a lot of work there. So maybe I it wouldn't be unreasonable that the super technological um uh, Wakandans might be able to bring them back, essentially. Because um, their DNA's out there, just not the species as it uh, as it exists. So that's kind of interesting. Oh yeah, a couple people are asking about it. So, a uh, TV spot got released, Rags, where it shows um, Kylo walking into like that obelisk thing that we were reading about in the leaks. And um, yeah. it, you hear the Emperor's voice being like, not as bad as this, but he basically says like, this whole time, I've been everybody who's in your head, and then he, like, simulates the voice of Snoke and the voice of Vader, implying that oh. all of it was just him, and that the Emperor is definitely coming. Because there's a lot of these weird rumors that the Emperor's a bait from JJ, but I don't know how you could have that trailer and have the Emperor not be in the film, but there we are. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, that's so, <laughs> that's so disheartening to hear yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, is it a plot hole in episode uh, four that the Death Star gunners didn't shoot at the Millennium Falcon at the end? They didn't shoot when it came in to save Luke, nor when they were all flying away. Nor did anyone warn Vader a new ship was coming in, I think. Um, I think the Vader gave the order to stop firing because they might hit him, and no one wanted to defy him even when a new ship was coming in, but that's not in the movie. The novel does uh, says jamming from the DS stopped Vader from noticing, but that's it. So Vader not being warned about the incoming ship, I think that that's a fair criticism. But as for the gunners not being active, yeah, that's specifically because I'm assuming they wouldn't want to crossfire on Vader. And I don't think that that's making it up. That's something that clearly happens in the film. Like the they have that moment where they're like the guns, they've stopped. Like, why would that happen? And then you get Vader and his two wingmen come in and start killing everybody. But uh, it is interesting that they wouldn't have warned him. The, we would have to have a throwaway line in there or something like, um, he's off comms because he's concentrating on killing everybody, but that would be kind of strange. Um, or you could have it so that he was warned, but he committed to try and stopping Luke, and uh, it just didn't mm -hmm. work out. But yeah, I've never main yeah. we've had a thing about this before. I've never maintained that the OT is without flaw. Like it's like, no no no, there are flaws. They're yeah, just a lot less perfect. significant Real than perfect. the ST. Um I love that we live in a timeline where the US military has decided to remove the explosive warhead from the AGM eleven four R nine X Hellfire missile and attach six swords to it instead. Yes, yeah, six missile mounted swords. I have no idea what that's referencing. But it sounds interesting. Say that one more time? I love that we have a timeline where the US military has decided to remove the explosive warhead from the AGM 114R 9X Hellfire missile and attach six swords to it instead. AGM 114R 9X. Um, let's see. Let me see. Modified for. Let me see. It looks like, oh, um, a a the Hellfire missile modified for a CIA kills, avoiding collateral damages. So, hmm. uh, the AGM one one four R nine X or flying Jinsu doesn't explode, but instead deploys six sharp blades, hitting and shredding targets without harming people and material nearby. Let me show you this picture. This is this is some fucking Warhammer looking shit. So I guess six blades essentially pop out of the um of the warhead and I guess it hits hits a guy. Wow. <laughs> that is uh that'll fuck your day up. But yeah, it doesn't it doesn't explode. It's just like that guy right there. We're going to we're going to give him some really nasty cuts. I'm because sure he blades be fine. pop out of the missile. <laughs> oh, that's actually that's actually really that's some cool. that is some like fictional shit right there. <laughs> like, but the... then you're like, well, we want to avoid explosions that could cause collateral damage, so we'll just hit them with a missile. We'll put swords on it. <laughs> like, well, it's not stupid. It's just that weird. 
That is a uh, a sword-like weapon. That is a sword-like we That is a sword-like missile. Um, where are we? Obvious problem with the film mobile infantry is the lack of armor-piercing rounds. There's no good reason not to use them, but they clearly aren't. I'm not sure if they're refer are you referring to like how there's certain bugs they'll shoot and it doesn't seem to do much because of their armor plating, or something else. Because I th um, the one they have to kill by throwing a grenade in his mouth, for example, I don't think they can penetrate that thing's outer shell with uh, their normal guns. Yeah, I would say that after learning that bugs are very resistant to um, uh, small arms fire in a lot of places, like they have to, you have to shoot them in certain spots. Mm -hmm. um, I think that a a mass, uh, it, and it's. I, I mean, you would think so. I'm I'm wondering if there would be any, like, it, not, you can't just, it's not as easy all the time as just changing the ammo. You can't just put a different bullet in a gun necessarily, and it works perfectly like the old ammo that you used for it, um, especially depending on whether or not it's a direct gas impingement or a piston system or whatever it is. Also, those but, things yeah. seem to be very, like... You, uh, un, un, non regular, I guess I should be saying, because uh, the bugs, the the one that they can't kill uh, with. Yeah, they do seem fire. to be specialized. It's essentially their version of a tank, and yeah. they would have, um, they would probably have, basically anti tank guns or grenade launchers or something like that to deal with them. No doubt they would, um, but maybe there's just not enough to be. Yeah, and, and that also mission, the cost issue. Like I'd have to rewatch it. All the fighting parts, but that mission, that's an ambush, right? They weren't intending to actually go to a significant battle in that part. But uh, maybe they're talking about a different uh, yeah. portion it's, of the film. But it's very, very possible that there's a reason for it. But also, yeah, one would think that they should. True. Um, I really like the art style in the Star Wars Traitor of Mars. No, it's not Star Wars. ST, Starship Troopers, Traitor of Mars. It was a big improvement over Invasion, especially with Carmen Ibanez. That said, she hasn't visibly aged at all since the end of the first movie, but uh, Juan Rico and Carl have. Uh, I haven't seen it, so... But, I mean, I hope any good content can come out of this Starship Troopers IP at this point. Because as far as I know, it's all garbage, apart from the first film. But, again, I know very little about it, so... Um, I never thought I could be more ashamed of the police here in Browood County than after Parkland. I didn't anticipate them shoot, uh, starting a shootout with dual thieves in a crowded intersection during rush hour, nor them killing a hostage and a bystander. I don't know anything about that, but that sounds terrible. I think it was the guy who stole the UPS truck. I think two, uh, I think the hostage was killed and a bystander was killed. Hmm. As well as the thief. But, uh... Yeah, I can't say. I mean, obviously it sounds bad, but I I wasn't there and it is um it is very easy to pass judgments while uh you're in comfortable idleness, the decisions that someone else had to make while bullets were flying at them and they were in a life or death situation. So I I'd, I'd need to learn more. Mhm. Mm in EFAP 60, Rags joked that you can't talk about Mando because it might be good. You only talked about things you hate. You only talk about things you hate on EFAP. Then I catch you guys on uh, the High Council, and you both hate Mando with a fire I've really seen. Drunk Mola, Isle of Man, Flag Laugh. I mean, we definitely criticize the shit out of it on that podcast. I don't remember us oh, yeah, saying absolutely. we hate the show or anything. Like, um, I, I'm starting to hate it. It's I'm, it's I, I really dependent it. on these next three episodes. Like, if we end poorly as well, like I'm probably gonna hate it. Yeah, I mean, if only two out of the eight episodes are good, then it's not a good season. Yeah, a two out of six is not good. And right now, there are more bad episodes than good ones. Well, I don't know. They're about tied, but still leaning negative, because the first two were good, the last two have been awful, and the middle one was not good. So Four and five, man. Oof. Yeah, four and five were bad. Um, Straight so up bad. That does it for the Streamlabs donations. Now on to the remaining donations of the Arlo stream. That's where we're at. Oh my god. Uh, which would you rather? Admit TLJ is a cinematic masterpiece or argue for the positive merits of homosexuality to Ra on top of a 35-story building? I think I read that one out before, actually. But 
Uh, I think the answer was I would absolutely argue that with rocks. I'm pretty sure it'd be pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, he would. He wouldn't push his bread and butter off of the uh, off the roof. Yeah, why would he want to push us? Even if we we said something he disagrees with, he wouldn't. He wouldn't Look, raw us. Give us give us ten minutes naked in a room together, and I'll convince him. <laughs> Um, I think I read these. Uh, hey, Moller, I don't know how often you watch anime, but what got you to watch One Punch Man? Uh, that would be my friend who, like, curates anime. He's seen, like, 200 of them, and so he showed me what he considered to be the cream of the crop, and that would include Code Geass, FMA Brotherhood, One Punch Man, and I feel like there's more... But I don't know the names of them because I'm not an animu. But yep, that's how that happened. Um, so if Major Lee looks at women, what's Jeb Nichols look at? Porgs? You get to look at porgs is probably going to be something yeah, that she'll be okay with. Look at... Yeah, porgs are fairly. I don't know. This... Like they they like porgs. Mm -hmm. Um. As a fellow Aussie, we leave the toilet door open in case of spiders, snakes, box jellyfish, and drop beers for easy escape. <clears throat> drop beers. Well, in in terms of defensive, like a pragmatic defensive strategy, I don't think Rags would have a problem with that. But, um, you know, social That's etiquette okay. is, is a whole different thing. Man's gotta be nice. Mm -hmm. um, Shad, why do you sound like Grandpa George from CATCF? I do not know what that is. But, I'm sure chat will answer that for me. And then I'll save the question for him. Chad, I loved your book. I'm looking forward to the next one. He would be very happy to hear that. Um, watch Konosuba, please. Also, hello, Wags. Hello! <clears throat> Konosuba? That sounds like an anime. It does sound How like anime-ish. Sounds anime-like. Um... Hey Shad, we had spot to put this, but I'd love to see the Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Zhao Long versus Shu Lian fight as a potential autopsy. I shall save that for him as well. Um, there was a Supernatural Watch episode shots. called Scooby Natural where it crosses over with Scooby Doo. It was a fantastic episode. I Fair saw enough. parts of that while I was um, at my folks' house. My sister was watching it. Really good. Uh, the parts I saw were. Good, sure. I don't know anything about the show, but the episode seemed all right. Oh, fair enough. I also recommend Scooby Doo on Zombie Island. It's a really good movie. I loved it as a kid. Rewatching it as an adult, I appreciate it more. I feel more Scooby Doo media should be at that level. I love, um, I love uh, that movie, uh, Scooby Doo on Zombie Island. That's one. Of, that's my favorite of the uh, of the movies that came out years and years ago. That mm -hmm. was my favorite of the trio. Then there was a fourth one, the cyber one. Yeah, I remember liking the Zombie Island one a lot. I think I think everyone does, <laughs> for the most part. I think it's just, yeah, just good, just good. Uh, I had a great time, play Deep Rock, and have been back for eight hours since that super chat. Also, listen to EFAPs a lot while playing games or building models. Good stuff. Oh, that's great. Whatever can be used to keep you company. It's all good. Yeah, man. Uh, this one says Sargon and the Incredible Saltbide When. So that should be tomorrow now instead of when it was. And I don't even know if that was planned at the point of this super chat being sent. But yes, tomorrow. Yeah. Tentatively should be tomorrow. We don't Pretty like sure. promise anything, but that's when it should be. Yes. Um. Okay. That's a shad question, shad question, shad question. Oh my god, four shad questions, five shad questions. I'm not even kidding, you got a question about the shish kebab, question about memory, sorrow, and thorn trilogy, question about for honor, question about Anakin's move to cut off Dooku's arms, question about the S-Tox sword, I'm going to have to save all of these. Alright, rags, Obvious. while I do that, pineapple on pizza is palatable if not preferable. What do you, what do you have to say about that? Say that's fucking wrong. <laughs> what would be your best argument against uh, against pineapple on pizza? <laughs> My best argument? Yes. Oh, Fuck up um, the people who like it, Rex. What my best? I'd have to think if I if you're gonna ask me for my best one, but just the 
because it just like the texture doesn't mix well and it's when you bite into it like the juice comes out of it and it gets with the tomato sauce and i uh, i <laughs> tried it once just to oh it's terrible i don't know why people jesus it's awful can't believe people like it i'll eat an oyster but y'all are weird it does feel like it just conflicts but i don't i don't really like pineapple anyway but even if i did enjoy the the sweet taste of a pineapple mixing it in just seems like seems like a weird choice for me but you know no, what I do like, i know i like pineapples are sour oh well there you go i don't even know the correct labels for these things cuz i real i like pineapples but not on pizza it ain't right it just ain't right what about pizza on pineapple oh that's oh like if it happened accidentally i don't even know if i drop pizza onto um a pineapple yeah, I don't even know if I'd still eat it. It'd be tainted. Oh no, I I don't know if I'd feed it to a dog. Yeah, would the it's like would the dog deserve that kind of punishment? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think he would. I don't think so. What, what did this dog do? Like, oof. yeah, to deserve this. Um. Okay, those six questions for Shad have been recorded and placed. Okay. Pepperoni, pineapple, and jalapeno pizza is the ultimate combination of savory, spicy, and sweet. Yeah, thanks for your money, asshole. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so just want to combine it. Might as well just, might just throw <laughs> barbite so on top of all that. Oh yeah, and dynamite. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. What an what an amazing. Yeah, just drizzle it in some some Hershey's chocolate. Call it the everything pizza. Out. And then you'll learn why people don't make the everything pizza. Call it the Dalai Lama pizza. Or the Big Bang. I was I was hoping that you would I was hoping that you would ask Rags, why what do you mean? Why would you call it the Dalai Lama pizza? Do you want me to still? I, I kinda would. Rags, why would you call yes? it the Dalai Lama pizza? Because when the Dalai Lama goes to the pizza shop and they ask him what he wants, he says Make me one with everything. There you go, guys. There you go. There I is. hope that was worth it. <laughs> I really hope you got some out of that one. Uh, Shad, Rags, P.S. Scalagrim needs love and help. Also, I love pineapple and pizza. It helps digest. It's one of the few that enzyme can digest in your mouth. AKA, Wait, say that one more time? It, it's, so at first it says Shad and Rags in exclamations, almost like saying hello, so yeah. <gasps> Shad and Rags. Uh, P.S. Scalagrim needs love and help. He does? I had no idea. Yeah, uh, I'm not let sure. Me, yeah, let is me that one of the channels YouTube. that have been hacked, or is that something else? I hope not. I heard I've that Astartes got the, the channel back, apparently. Yeah, Astartes. I heard that he did, and thank goodness he did. Um, uh, two days ago he streamed live q and I got my Facebook page back, so... Not not sure, but I've I've watched Scalagrim videos a fair amount in the past, and I've really I've liked them. So if, uh, yeah, I'll keep an eye on his channel, see what's up. Mm -hmm. Um, then it says also I love pineapple on pizza. It helps digest. It is one of the few that the enzyme can digest your mouth. I think that's about. Isn't it like there's something in pineapple that can start burning away your mouth if you eat too much of it? Is that a thing? Is like, well, it is. A, I think it's acidic as mm. a food, so maybe it's really bad for your teeth in excess. And then, and then it says, "AKA heavy pizza with pepperoni and beef needs help." Shmola, what the fuck? Pepperoni and beef. Apparently, if you have pepperoni and beef, you need help with breaking it down, and that's what pineapple can do. That's what I'm gathering from this. Yeah, so can other things that don't have to be on the pizza simultaneously. Yeah, just swallow lava. That can dissolve food, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you think of the writing concept of a character who will return in the end times? Lazy writing to rid a powerful character for a bit? Or a good way to have that twist in the end? I'm curious. So are you talking about stuff like Gandalf in Two Towers, sort of? Or are you talking about... Like something biblical or at least religious texty type in a in a universe. Character who will return in the end times. Um, I mean, don't it it's 
it's like a lot of reveals would be done kind of imply it or have little things like maybe they know and they drop hints but they don't want to be obvious about it you know or make as when it happens make us go all right well when i look back oh yeah that makes sense that that could happen and then i think i would need an example specifically because i'm not 100 percent sure but like if you have like a really well re like so uh, i'm trying to think of like let's just say the ot was continued and Luke, instead of helping them fight the Fist Order, said he had to go because he needs to um, discover the truth behind how the Sith began. For some reason, like, like I'm trying to think of something good right now, but off the top of my head, I'm struggling like for something that would be reasonable. But if you theoretically could, and he left to go to a distant planet and then come back, we can assume that he will be gone for at least like like a reasonable amount of time. I wouldn't consider that to be ridiculous as long as it was well set into the um the rules and the plot like we understood. You know, the best example probably would be Gandalf. Like he has to leave to collect a big army that can save the day. Will he make it in time? Will be dependent on how well they defend Helm's Deep. Yes, we have to hold out. We've got to keep it going. He said he'd be back. We trust him. Yeah, I have don't it know. set up. It it's good because once it happens, you're like, oh, yeah, that's right. And during the fight, you, you don't. Uh, I, I certainly wasn't thinking, where's Gandalf? It, it happens, and then you're reminded, oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, pineapple has enzymes that attack and kill cells in your mouth. It's also why jello with fresh pineapple won't set. It literally eats the gelatin. Cool. Wow. All of these extremely interesting pineapple facts. <laughs> Uh, it's my birthday tomorrow. Here's a gift to the defenders of quality writing and objectivity. Thank you, Mola. Thanks, Shad, for inspiration to study Hammer. Fun and good research for my book. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Hello, and yeah, Historical thank you. European martial arts. Uh, Shad, call Matt Dillahunty on atheist, atheist experience. Yeah, uh, Matt Dillahunty is a... So, if uh, this was the whole beliefs not a choice thing, so this is called doxastic involuntarism. Oh my god! It is basically the most widely accepted position in philosophy and psychology. You don't choose your beliefs. If you think you do, you're fucking wrong. Sorry, um, but yeah, it's just uh, just not something you, you you don't just choose you, what you believe. It's not a switch. Um, Are you suggesting yeah, that I, Matt Dillahunty and Shad will have an epic debate? Uh, I I don't know if it'll be epic. This is one of those things that's it's pretty. Pretty open and closed, uh, shut case at this point. Ha, watched two hours, went to bed, waked up, woke up, and still on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Mola, help. My dick stinks. Oh, no. Get one of them air fresheners and just go to town. That'll, that's the easiest way to fix it all. I swear to God, it's a permanent fix. Um, I love Wesker's English voice. Hate that actor, though. Um, Chris. I don't know who the actor is for... Uh, from Resident Evil Five, yeah. Let's take. Oh, a look. the one in the film. I was, I was thinking the yeah, voice actor. Oh, for from the, the Resident Evil movies. Here, I'll, I'll do the film. You do the movie. Uh, what? <laughs> you, you look up the film. I'll look. I mean, you look up the game. I'll look up the film. <laughs> okay, I'll do I, the game. Know, calling, okay, f calling them films is almost like uh, not fair. Movie, I know. I know. Wesker. I know. They're things. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're flicks. It's <laughs> Sean Roberts. I got five results for Albert Wesker voices. Oh my gosh, there's DC so Douglas, many. Richard Wah, Peter Jessup, Joji Nakata, and Fumiko Tachiki. I oh, we, I got people. two. So Sean <clears throat> Roberts was in Resident Evil, and Jason O'Mara was Resident Evil Extinction. Huh. Let me check which one Resident Evil Extinction was. Which one of these people are the evil? Wesker is the evil. No, I mean, the, which one of these people is the person the Super Chat doesn't like? I don't know. I do not know myself. Chris. 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 Global um. saturation. <clears throat> Massive bells, long man smells, J got a G-I Jeb, the EFAP mobile lost a wheel, and Brooks is the big gay. <laughs> I like it. I went to sleep watching the stream, I wake up and it's still going. Yes, sir. I joined the church to learn fascinating practices. Oh, I mean, yeah, it, that would be a reason to be like to find out more about it. I don't know how. Yeah, I guess. Uh, how it would f pan out if you were like, 
if you, you let everyone know that. I don't know if they'd give you weird looks and stuff, but hey, should be fine. Um, is for Shad. How are the Shadlings today? Also, thank you for fapping today. Um, I'm sure I'd appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thanks for the fapping. Wow, I went to bed two hours into the stream and woke up just now and you're still going. Well, here's my contribution to another 12-hour stream. Oh, that... As long as the internet allows us, which, by the way, we've been going for 55 minutes, so apparently the internet oh. should work. I um, hope so. It's been holding up so far. There's a good chance we've got two 12-hour streams coming. Not even kidding. <laughs> like Friday and Saturday. It's definitely Saturday, because we've got so much content. Uh, as mm -hmm. for Friday, it's a maybe. Chad, I'm a Mormon... Bleh, Shad, I'm a Mormon member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints... As well, what do you think of the recent changes? Also, oh, I'll, uh, I'll keep this for him. And it says, also, if there's anyone else here is LDS, please join Mauler's Discord so I'm not alone. Ah. Um, there is a fellow Mormon looking for fellow Mormons in the Discord. Hmm. There you go. Book of Mormon Unbridled Rage, when? I, <laughs> I don't want to read it. <laughs> what now? The Book of Mormon Unri Unbridled Rage. <laughs> Oh, um... <laughs> uh, we're good. Nobs would be Jenny just to pull a Judge Doom. Nobs would be Jenny just to pull a Judge Doom. What, what does that mean? Just to pull a Judge Doom? Yeah. Nobs would be Jenny just, just to, to pull, pull a, a Judge, Judge Doom. Doom. Um, let me look up Judge Doom. Judge Doom is the main antagonist in the 1988 motion picture Who Framed Roger Rabbit, portrayed oh. by Christopher Lloyd. All right, so let's mean? see if that helps. What does it mean to pull a Judge Doom? Like, he's a cartoon on the inside, but he doesn't show it? Is that uh. what they're getting at? Because <laughs> Judge Doom is a cartoon. He's a tune, but he, like, suppresses it right it's on the inside um so he would act like jenny to kind of seem normal even on the inside he's a total joke mm. that's, that's definitely that's my, feasible yeah yeah that's my guess if that's not what you meant i'm sorry but that's that's what i'm pulling from it and i think that's a reasonable i think that's reasonable this one's uh this one's weird daddy moles makes baby hungry Daddy Malls makes baby hungry. <laughs> oh my um, goodness. Mola, how do you know Shad? I'm a huge fan of both of you, but I'm curious how you met. By the way, Shad really liked your book. Well, he'd appreciate that. And I met Shad through Rags, I believe. Yeah, we did a stream. Mm -hmm. uh, while that was when back. I met him, that's I think. Kinda how we... Yeah, that's um, how that got kicked off. I can't remember how I meet most people, though, because it's just time passes and I can't yeah. recall. I mean, well, this is the thing. Like, uh, people. Are always like, did did I meet you through Wolf or Wolf through blah blah? But it's like all three of us met each other separately, which is extremely yeah. unlikely. Um, and I think I met Wolf after you two. You met you, you met him for the first no. time just after you'd met me because I was talking to him about how he was going to be doing his podcast, and he said that he was like excited to have you as a guest because he's been a fan of your videos for a while. And I was like, no fucking way! I just spoke to him like a couple days ago. Oh, it's so what that was such a I was such a, so so much happened after the last Jedi movie yeah, came out. Because so much happened. The only reason we a wolf bet was because his videos were by recommended and I really liked it. And then I was like, ooh, he did a take out of Ragnarok, and I was like, fuck this video, it's shit. <laughs> I was like, so this Ragnarok isn't this bad. So excited. Yeah, man. That was it was extremely unlikely, but kinda cool. And then uh met loads of different people through Twitter and then just uh through other connections, I guess. Um, the Chad EFAP versus the Virgin Cap. The Virgin Cap? Like Captain America or something else? Virgin Cap? What's C-A- is it like C-A-P? Well, it's, it's capital C-A-P. Like, it's, it doesn't seem to be something that stands like C-A-P, but it makes me think of Captain America immediately. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. The problem is Cap this happened a while ago, so I can't remember the context anymore. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what you mean by Cap. There's a question for Shad. Uh, I have four free super chats. Hi, Rags. Hey. And the next one is Hi, Rags. Oh, hello. And the next one is Hi, Rags. Hey there. Oh, sorry. Hola, Rags. Ah, uh, hola, senor. 
And then Rye Hags. Oh, Rel Ho. <laughs> hey, Longman, what did Q uh, Queen Curio end up saying about coming on an old EFAP? Also, hi, Shad. Um, she said she wouldn't maybe mind doing um, an EFAP movies, but wasn't too into the whole responding to video essays thing. Um, so it's like a potential for the future. Uh, same for Closer Look. We're supposed to, the plan for Closer Look is to possibly do a, one of the Transformers movies. So, um, we shall oh see. Oh my goodness. I know, right? We're gonna watch <laughs> the Transformers movie. It's called McMuffin Shad, you spaghetti sucker. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we should try and call McGuffins McMuffins from now on. And just wait for people to be like, they do know it's not McMuffin, right? McGuffin? No, Mc yeah, you have McGuffins, but we call them McMuffins from now on, right? McGonquins? McGonquins? McGorfins? Damn, y'all are still going? Yes! Yeah, well, who's we, we... the chairman of the N-Word committee? Jay Longbone. Mm -hmm. She dispenses the passes rather liberally. Springy is like Secretary of State for the committee, I guess. He will, um, he will address the public while she delivers the rules. Yeah, he's a little bit more um, states, stately. Mm -hmm. Jesus, you're still going, and I just finished your last stream, you savages. Shad, I always see your content, but blame Mola for my inability to get to your content. What? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> but blame Mola for my inability to get to your content. Go to his content. Especially if you, if you, if you, uh, have any time free. Do it. It's good shit. Um, hi, Rags. Hello! And Mola, you're a robot. Oh my goodness. But maybe. I'm not going to deny it. This possibility. Uh, Shad and Wolf fantasy novel collaboration when? Could be cool. Not impossible. Have to see how time, time f fans out in the world. Who knows? Um, thank you for streaming from the time I left. Work to the time I returned. Never change, you lovely massives. Hi, Wags. Hello! How many eight-foot people do you know, Shad? I will save that. That is a very important question. I have to get the answer there. Oh my god, I have like 15 questions for Shad. <laughs> uh, excited for another EFAP, but just catching it at the end. Just wondering, you guys excited for the Expanse Season 4 in three weeks? Uh, no, because I don't watch the show. But I've heard Expanse is really good. I'm not sure if I'll watch it. I really didn't find the first three seasons that interesting and I know for a fact that Wolf despises that show so. He does? Yeah. I heard good things about it. He hates it because it's not faithful enough and um, Nid Roddick said that he went to some kind of like I think it was some kind of con and they played the pilot of season four or at least the first episode of season four uh, at this con and he told me that Wolf would hate it a lot because it like deviates from the book quite significantly. Oh. Um, well I never read the book so it, it wouldn't even yeah, no, I, I just, I had issues with the show on my own. I didn't really like the characters that much. They were very meh to me. Um, but from what I hear, the books are very good. Uh, Venture Brothers has the best Scooby-Doo episode. What's Venture Brothers? Venture Brothers? You don't know the, about the Venture Brothers, the Adult Swim show? Mm, it's not ringing any bells. Really? I'm surprised that you haven't heard of the Venture Bros. That, yeah, no. That's interesting. I'm looking huh. at it now, I don't recognize any of this. Oh. Alright. What was it? It's like a it's like a Johnny Quest spoof kinda show on Adult Swim. Hmm. Was it good? Yeah, I think it's good. Cool. Uh hello episode sixty three from episode sixty two. Also hi Rags. Hello. Well, episode 63 was actually the meme stream, which, by the way, has not been struck down. Uh, BBC hasn't touched that one. I don't know why. Yay! <laughs> but there we are. Uh, hey, Muller, I have a question for Shad. Will you ever see a return to the Rogue Star universe? I will save that question. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! Uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 did 9-11. That is a reference to Movie Bob having... He says in his book, someone showed me the excerpt, um, he says he remembers, like, going to buy Super Mario Bros. 3 as clearly as he does the, the morning of 
or something like that. Oh. Something absurdly like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like you read it well, and it's um, like what the fuck? I I guess in his defense, it's not a, we don't decide what we remember the most. It's just it's really a strange weird. thing to say though. It's a really weird it's not something I would be like proud to write in a book. I would probably like, phrase some it differently. You never forget, like your wedding. Yeah. Um, you're, you're, you're losing your virginity. Um, maybe your first car. Um, stuff like that. You know, the birth of your first kid. Stuff like, you know, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I, I remember buying certain games. Mahler, let's let maybe this is a good segue to the to a nifty question. Like, right. do you when you think about buying video games, um. Because I I suppose like me now you buy almost all of yours digitally. Yes. Yeah. So back when you bought physical copies, or when was the last physical copy of a game that you purchased? I guess the better question would probably be which one do I remember? Because yeah, I, yeah, I that's a good know. one. What, what's your most memorable one of the strongest ones I've got is getting. Um, so I was uh, really late to the console gaming party as well as being in a family that wasn't exactly able to buy lots of uh, new things and um, the only way I managed to get a GameCube and this was uh, the next generation was already out I remember being made fun of getting a GameCube when everyone was getting Xbox 360s and I was like I don't give a shit fucking GameCube kicks ass um, but I'd already played a lot of it over a friend's house and I got uh, three games at random right the idea is that in my, because my sister worked at the Woolworths, which actually shut down eventually, like all of it's gone now. I think it might just be an online store. Um, mm -hmm. There was like a bargain bin of GameCube games that got reduced because of the fact they didn't have any covers on them as well. It was just the discs in like, you know, like how you put a GameCube disc into a DVD case, you could do it, but it would just look stupid and ridiculous, whatever. But mm -hmm. price reduction, I ended up with three, and the three were. Uh, uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee, Super Mario Sunshine, and uh, James Bond Nightfire. They were the three games which... James Bond Nightfire? I don't even... I can't even put a finger on that If one. you're gonna get three random games on the GameCube, that's a pretty fucking good haul. Let's just put it that, that way. <laughs> like, and I was just like... I, I remember, still remember getting them, because I was like, yes! I have a cube and really good games. Um, I think... Yeah, go for it. Keep I was going. gonna say I remember getting Lord of the Rings Third Age. I was really excited for that. I remember going after school. Yeah, my, my brother and I played that uh, co-op. Good shit. It was. I, I would be curious how it holds up to an adult me, but we enjoyed it a lot. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, I think Bioshock Two. I was like over the moon excited for that game. So such a good game. Um. Because, like, Bioshock 1 is one of my favorites of all time. Then the, I think Modern Warfare 2 I was pretty excited for. I remember where I was when I bought that. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, kind of hard. I'd have to go game by game and see if I can trigger any memories. <laughs> like, how did I get this? Where was it from? Well, while you think, a couple that come to my mind are, I remember buying A Link to the Past on the Game Boy, and I got the Prima Strategy Guide book that came along with it. And I, I went through the game and I beat it. I got all the heart containers and everything. And my best friend growing up, um, I let him borrow them too. And he would go through it and he played all of the stuff. Uh, I think I borrowed it. Uh, I think mm. he borrowed it to like demo it essentially. And then he bought it and we both kind of, we, we talked about it a lot. It was a game that we could both talk about a bunch. Um, the first M-rated game I ever bought, uh, GameStop let me buy Resident Evil 4 for the GameCube. I wasn't old enough to do it, but I guess they just let me do it. Uh, maybe back then it was a lot more relaxed, but they let me buy Resident Evil 4, and I remember buying that. Um, and I remember buying my Xbox 360 years and years and years ago. Um, my parents wouldn't let me have one, so I bought one and just didn't tell them or let them know. Um, and I, they had a deal where if you bought an Xbox 360 this week or this weekend at GameStop, we'd give you two games that were priced twenty dollars and less. Mm. So my first two games were Bioshock and Mass Effect. Oh, what a combo! For, I I know fucking two games that are still among my favorite games ever. Talk about two amazing starters there. Yeah, but I, I think the last piece. I think the last physical game I ever bought was Halo Combat Evolved for PC. 
because you could get them like cheap on Amazon or whatever, wherever I oh, bought it from. I think because I've got a couple of PS4 games, so it's not. It's like Sam, it probably got the new God of War, I guess, would be the last physical game I got, thinking about it now. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. And yeah, that's not going to end necessarily soon, because obviously I'll want to buy the sequel to that, and it won't be on PC, so. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but yeah. Resident Evil 4, man. Oof, I spent so much time on that back in the day. I've and probably beaten that game at least a dozen times. I adore Resident Evil 4 so much. It was between that, that, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and Super Smash Bros. Melee. I don't know which one I spent more time on. Oh, yeah. Mm. Lot of good time. <laughs> a lot of gaming hours. Um, morning, you massives. Play Akbar's theme. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Hello, Ray, hello. Ray being able to heal people now makes her as powerful as Darth Plagueis, one of the most powerful force users in the history of Star Wars. Fun. Yeah, no surprise there, though. Yeah, but oh, God, if you guys had your way, there would never be anything new. Okay? It's cool that she can force heal. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's really that's really cool. Okay, good. I'm glad you agree. It's really it's really cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's great. You do it all. Um, I You're go so to bed, awesome. get up for work, and you're still live. Yes, sir. Greetings, long man. Hello. Hello, wags. Hello. And salutations, Shad. Love how I've managed to watch, go to sleep, wake up, and still see you going in classic, e classic, classic EFAP fashion. Cheers for the great conversations. No problem. I'm glad you really like them. Glad you like them. Uh, it's 6.20 a.m. and you massive n word tisms are still going? Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> We've been going since that super chat was sent, 100%. Yep, we just take shifts. Um, by the Emperor, you guys are still going? Yes. Mm. Meme that hybrid Beowin, please. Also, Mola say I love you in a heartwarming voice. You too, Shad. I guess I'll save that for him, but, um, I love you. There you go. Nice and heartwarming. I'll have to get Shad to do it at some point as well. I'm surprised they didn't ask you for one, Rags. It's pretty racist, isn't it? It's kind of fucked up, but all right. Also, thoughts on how Marvel Comics is ripping off fan designs for ships from their comics? Look at Eckhart's ladder video for proof. Um, do you remember the posters thing that happened with Solo? They, like, completely ripped off a set of posters for a completely different movie. I do not remember that, no. I don't know Definitely. why. Is it like that they hire an artist and then they hope the artist won't fuck just them over? don't know. Or they just find it someplace and hope that they won't raise a stink about it? It just blows Let my me, mind uh, that this happens to someone as people as big as Disney. A Han Solo movie poster stolen. French artist wants credit. Let's take a look here. Oh wow. Um yeah, let let me uh copy this and show you this. Oh no. This is pretty uh oh. oh yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, the uh Oh wow. And w it makes me think that they ha hired an artist and this artist was like, "I know what I can copy. Hopefully no one will notice." And it's like, ah, I don't remember. <laughs> This isn't the thing that's no. A lot of a lot of eyes are on this. That's, some that's risky crazy! Shit. Look at that. Wow, that was oh my goodness! You guys, some of these look. <laughs> oh wow! Oh well. Um. Oh yeah, and that's that's it for the Arlo stream super chats. Now on to the first Sargon and Arch stream. And then we've got the second one of that, and then we've got the ones for this stream. Rags, we're making it <laughs> through. Right. Yeah, we're doing it. Remember, this one was only 20 minutes long, so I'm sure this won't take too long. Oh, yeah. Um, hi, Rags. Hey! Um, I don't get in Joker how child Arthur is allowed to stay living with his mum after child services discovers he's being abused and that she's unstable. Um... There's a lot that we don't know about what happened in between. Yeah, it's she not, went, it's not, she went to yeah, like she was the asylum, right? in the hospital. Yeah, she was like in that. the hospital for a time. So it's possible that when she got out, she got evaluated to be fit enough to get her kid back. Right. And maybe there was a part of Arthur who was like, I need to take care of my mom. She really needs me. Um, we, I don't think that's a problem at all for the film. 
Um, especially because they point out as a plot point that she was in the hospital for a time. So we know he would have been away for a while. And we don't know when they got custody again. And then, yeah, there's also the, the, the line where they say that he was in the asylum himself. So that could mean he was there since child services found him after the abuse. Or it could mean that he went there after going to some kind of like foster home. And this is Gotham, by the way. So like we're dealing with a city that's got extremely lax or damaged services to take care of people. Mm -hmm. um, lots to work with in terms of how that may have functioned. Uh, hey, Sargon and Arch, finally, enjoy the tisms and feed your jebs. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! And that's true. Remember to feed and water your jebs. Mm -hmm. Make sure they get plenty of social activity and sunlight every day. And obviously, uh, the ones that are directed at them for questions, I'll just save and hopefully we can have them answer it in the intro tomorrow. Yeah, and don't plant um, your jebs too deep. Mm -hmm. Sargon, nice did you white. see Nancy Pelosi stutter today? Um, I'll save that one. Hello, Applebee's man. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! EFAP in the Claws of the Dawn. That seems to be like a movie title. I'm not against it. Um, Batwoman last week was defeated as the wokest show by Harley Quinn animated show. It got woke in the first ten seconds with the line, Gentlemen, my fellow whites. So check it out, guys. Gentlemen, my fellow whites. My fellow whites. Ooh. My fellow whites. Um, listening tomorrow for work, no context to my statement, but y'all better not be hating on Rico and his roughnecks. Mobile infantry forever. It'll actually be the opposite, most likely. Yeah, I think we're going to be in uh, staunch defense of them, because um, the uh, Starship Troopers are amazing. And yeah, feels bad, man, for uh, the stream didn't go ahead, but it will be with you eventually, for sure. Yeah, it was only delayed, it wasn't cancelled. Hell yeah, it's EJAP, every jab a pause. EJAP. Yeah, I think that works. The Don blesses all of you massives. Why, thank you. I'm sure he does. The man, the myth, Soygon is here. All right, this is epic. No, this is epic. Yeah, you got a massive guest. Hi, Wags. Hello. Is this the Generation Films vid, the did, the did one on the advantages of the mobile infantry? The video... Um, wants to talk about the disadvantages or the flaws of the mobile infantry. Um, and some of them will shock you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about time these massives show up. Hi, Arch. Well, he'll be back tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, Oi, Morley, tell the boys about you loving Iron Man 3. No. I fucking hate that movie. In a, in like a, in a, in a healthy, normal way. You know, totally. Yeah. As healthily as, as normal as it is to hate a film. Mm -hmm. uh, by the horned rat and Socrates' beard, I have waited for this episode. All my faves in one stream. I love y'all. Y'all make life a little more bright. That's sad to read, oh. considering the stream got stopped. Oh. But... Don't, don't worry. It'll, It'll come remember. back. Not cancelled, only postponed. Mm -hmm. Goddamn massives need to slow the fuck down. I'm still on EFAP 55 and I missed so much. Stop it. Also, hi, Rags. Hello! And Sargon and Arch. There you go. Uh, G-Force is objectively a better film than TLJ. I felt casting knobs as a guinea pig was a celestial decision as well. Also, hi, Rago. Hello. But yeah, no, agreed on both counts. Oh, man. Someone brought that up and I was like, damn, I haven't heard about G-Force. Time. Uh, oh boy, Sargon's here. How long till EFAP ends up like UKIP? Yeah. <laughs> Why would he end up like you, Kip? Yeah. It, it, it wasn't Sargon or Dankula that was the problem with you, Kip. Uh, you should watch uh, Dankula's video on why he left Kip. It'll, uh, it'll explain a lot of that. Also watch his uh, documentary. <laughs> That's just funny. Oh, yeah, that was really good. I think we watched it together. Mm -hmm. Bring V to kick him and J2. Also, hi, Wax. Hello. Joy to the world, Sargon is here. And then gone, and then back. Hopefully, maybe, tomorrow. Thanks for being the big tisms, no problem. I Sargon loved your vid on Starship Troopers. Hence, why it was a suitable topic. But fate stepped in, as it does. Uh, don't really have time to watch, but we'll catch the tail end in about 11 hours. 
Eh, uh, not that time. All hail Carl of Swindon. Is the, um... That, that is the title, yes. Um, how many decibels per ounce is required to be considered loud soup? Hmm. Hmm. I think it depends on the temperature of the room. Yeah, and who's looking. Yeah, and I think it'll depend whether or not you're in the northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere, they'll measure it differently. Yeah, because of the stars. And if it's raining, that's like super big important, but you know, yep. just get all these variables right and we will have your answer. Uh, kick Sargon lol. And then there's a super chat that just says B. <laughs> just the letter B? It's just the letter B. It's capitalized though. <laughs> oh my, oh. Okay, I agree. B. Um, I got disgusting ginger honey beer and chips time for fat boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's uh, funny. Assuming leaks for nine are all true, do you love the fact that they find Uchi and the dagger of the same way Aquabat and Mira find the Temple of the Trident? Yes, I do find that funny. But, uh, Aquaman played it, like, goofily. Like, Aquaman as a film was vaguely aware of the fact that it was retarded. I don't think JJ's gonna have that level of awareness. He thinks it's amazing. He thinks this is, this is gonna be a very... He's gonna try and play this off as a very meaningful film. Uh, EFAP on Spotify slash iTunes? Um, something I will try and... There's a couple of procedural things I'm trying to sort out for what you could call the present and future of EFAP. Um, obviously, I've been slowed now with di loads of different projects I want to make, especially with the coming few months are just going to be episode 9. Like, you know, it's not like all of EFAP will only cover that, but there's going to be a lot of it, especially with videos I'm going to want to make and ones we'll cover, but... Um, after that, there could be a chance that I can finally focus on that. I just, there's a lot of other elements I'm trying to set up, so, um, it's on a list. Also, please tweet EFAP updates. Discord isn't good for that. Tweet out when the show is scheduled and when you're live. The problem is that the scheduling changes all the time, up to the point where we go live. I really hate it when I try and tell people that this is when it will be, and then I have people being like, where the fuck is it, yo? Um, as opposed to the reverse, which is we go live, and people are like, I didn't know there was an EFAP, cool. Like, I prefer that result. And I know that it's, it's better for people, it's just like, all the best we can do is say, this is when it's intended, but... Man, does the, uh, does it change a lot. So I, uh, you know, we do throw out expectations every once in a while, but uh, most of the time it's just sort of... You goes, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Sargon, you're finally on EFAP, you absolute massive. How are you? Gonna drop an F for Astartes? Really infuriating what happened to him. I will save that in case Sargon wants to, uh... Well, Moment. luckily that one aged well. Cosmo said Joker, some hot take Joker, do it justic. That's, um... Do it justice? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I guess. I think so. Cosmo said Joker, some hot take Joker. Cosmo said Joker, some hot take Joker, do it justice. So I guess he's a Cosmonaut Variety Hour, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, that today. part's... Did thing. some hot take on the Joker, and I guess we have to do it justice. I assume did that's what Cosmo he means. Did Cosmo do a video on Joker? He probably did. Because I don't know. Oh yeah, he just just called Joker's really good, and it's four and a half minutes. It's like a Chris oh. Stockman video, basically. Yeah. Uh, uh give my shackles an even split between Arch and Sargon. Also, was that anti-Semitic? A Jewish charity went ape shit at me for using the word shackles on Twitter. Oy vey, Gentile. Um, mm, aye. Uh, well, uh, fuck them it, then. Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, it's not... Surely it's not that offensive. <laughs> like, they could get over a little bit. No? Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, it's hard to keep track of what exactly is offensive these days. I'm sorry. But note it. Um... Are you familiar with the bigger Luke theory, and do you think he is the secret Skywalker mentioned in some Episode Nine leaks? Also, High Arch. I have no idea what the bigger Luke theory is. And uh, we didn't read about any secret Skywalker, did we, in the leaks? We the secret Skywalker? I don't think so. Mm. I mean, Lord knows that's something that they could just throw in at the last second. So oh, yeah, definitely. We won't know until the movie comes out. That's, That's the thing, like there's so many leaks now, 
Um, and there's so many, like, testimonies that different cuts of the film are being pushed, that there's a good chance that that is the case, that there are many cuts of the film and that all these different leaks were actually valid at some point and that we're going to get one definitive take that... I guarantee you, when JJ submitted the final take, he would have been sweating. He was just like, I hope this is the right one. <laughs> like, this, please, please be the right one. But, uh, we, we shall see. Um, Arch, can vampires sustain themselves on orphans? I think so, as long as the blood's good. It doesn't, it doesn't matter who the blood belongs to. I mean, I guess we'll have I to save so. it for, for his answer, see what orphans he says. Orphans are human enough, yeah. Um, Mola, when do you plan on releasing more EFAP movies? Well, funnily enough, about an hour <laughs> before we started this stream, I got a copyright notification for Two Towers being uh, down again. So, damn it. Gotta re edit and re upload that one. The current order is Doom, Fellowship, Two Towers, Return of the King. Is it Godzilla after that? I think so. Then Toy Story 4 and A Wrinkle in Time. That is all the ones that have been recorded. Oh, and Torchwood. So you got all of these oh, yeah. pieces of content. Several of them are an hour, at least. All right, uh, Jay Longbone is in the a Wrinkle in Time one. I think Metal's in a couple of these, or Fringy. I can't quite specifically remember. Lord of the Rings one's uh, just fabulous, but they're all supposed to release in the order that they've been made for, for continuity. And um, Doom, I think, is almost out of copyright hell. Not quite. And Two Towers just keeps getting balked. Um, but, uh, so, there, as soon as, it seems like most of them are okay outside of Doom and Two Towers, which happen to be two of the earlier ones, so, they're on the way, they will get to you eventually, folks, um, they're fun, I, I swear, you'll have fun. Uh, based Sargon of Applebee's, also High Rags. Hello. Oh my god, it's Sargon and Arch, High Rags. Hello. Where is the Batwoman reaction video? That one, I think that one came out the following day, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, Star Wars Episode Nine: Skywalking Out of the Theater. Oof. I mean, I won't be walking out, I'll be laughing too hard. <laughs> um, ask Sargon about the soundbite of him bearing users. Uh, I can always save that, I have no idea what it's referring to. Happy Hanukkah, all my N-words, angriest Jewius. <laughs> nice and subtle. Hey, Mola, here's a $10 super chat, because I'd rather give my money to you than Rise of Skywalker. Why, thank you. You guys actually got Sargon on. We did briefly, yes. <laughs> it happened for a moment. It is possible. Uh, what's Sargon's favorite fruit? Avocado. Get it? I don't get it, because avocados are berries, they're not fruit. Well, it just says avocado. Oh, because of Sargon of Akkad. Oh, yeah, I mm -hmm, get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good one. That, that gets a thumbs up from me. Greetings from an oppressed New Zealander. I wanted to urge Sargon to please look into the terrifying state of my nation post-Christ Church. Um, I, yeah, I heard see. some bad stuff were going down. Save the message for him Very authoritarian. Want. How fitting. Sargon is on after his stream where Mola refused to say my super chat of Wong Man Woves You Wong Wong Man Woves to Oo Woo with You Woo. I will not be disavowed. <laughs> <laughs> uh Guten Tag here Wags. Hello. Arch and Sargon. Hello, hello. Arch and Sargon finally on EFAP. Yes. <laughs> Watch Mojo Experience is real with the new YouTube rewind. Yeah, it's essentially just top tens all in a row. Uh, glad to see Sargon and Arch on EFAP. Also, can't wait for episode 9 and the avalanche of videos defending it. Oh, yes. Um, hey, Sargon, what happened to you, Kip? Need dopamine? I'm aware of these memes. Despite making only up 30%, 13% of the total mass of humanity, Movie Blob contributes 50% of all diabetes. Oh. How about that? In your TLJ Critique Part 4, you said that the movie should be used to study bad film writing. Yesterday, an article popped up to promote that idea. Yep, I tweeted about that. Uh, Was that the one where um, I think you did say something to me about it? Yeah, uh, a lot of people were asking me about it because there was like a, a guy who said he uses it in his um, lectures as examples of 
a, a really good example of how not to write a screenplay, which is, I think I said it in part three of the videos, and it's just, yeah, I was just like, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a really great, easy way to teach people how not to do shit. Um, hi Arch, I love your content. Tell the story of Tusker Demon or Daemon Killer and the Blood Prince's Balls. I will save that for Arch tomorrow. Blood Prince's Balls. Uh, also Ho Ho Hi Rags. Ho Ho Hello. And Cole hello, for Jay. Aw. You absolute massives, I have homework to do. Well, it got cancelled, so you're fine. Yeah. You made it, you passed, I hope. Best birthday, four of my favorite YouTuber in one room. Yeah. Um, these make me sad because <laughs> the stream yeah. ended. Luckily, they will get it. Uh, celebrating a violation of human rights? Now that is bullsh bullshoot blazing. I don't know what that's referring to exactly. I don't either. Um, I had a terrible week and the meme stream saved it. You guys rock. Thanks a million. Also, watch JoJo. Um, or, I will consider it, but I'm, I'm glad you like the meme stream. Yeah, I was going to say, the meme stream was pretty successful outside of that bit where it got taken off air. But, you know, outside of that, good shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Work with what you got. Uh, service guarantees citizenship. I'm doing my part. Are you doing yours? Good quote. You guys hear about Astartes getting their channel deleted by the hacker? Well, we've also heard that it's back. Don't know for let sure me look yet. Up, uh, let me look up Astartes right now. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Look at this, this uh... super chat. Sargon, consider this your redemption, Chads. Don't fuck up. <laughs> like, coming on EFAP is the redemption. <laughs> People come on EFAP to redeem themselves. It uh -huh. is known. <laughs> they complete your arcs on EFAP. Mm -hmm. um, Muller, I love you. 1.2. I'm assuming that was going to be Billion. I assume so too. Hey Arch, do you know the YouTuber Lutin09? His 40k lore videos are very entertaining. I will save that question. My personal favorite Christmas movie is the Jim Carrey version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Love his Grinch. What do you think of the film? I haven't seen it in a long time. Uh, it's been a long time for me as well. I, I'd have to think because it's been so long. Yeah. Um, but I remember enjoying it when I was younger. <laughs> Could be good. I can't remember. Yeah, whatever that means. Now to us. Uh, I blocked Shives before he could get the chance. Ah, oh, getting in. Ah, oh, turn in. the tables on him. Sumerian man bad. Wait, Angel over Buffy because more Spike. Spike's in more of Buffy than Angel. I detest this inaccurate super chat. Away with you. I condemn oh you. I Arch, if you're still here, you were my webway drug into 40k. What is your favorite 40k or inspired 40k game? And if you're not here... Uh, hi, wait, and if you're, you're not still here, hi J, big fan. Well, neither of them are here, but I'll save it. Mm -hmm. Um, hello all my M-words, I see that you finally got the Acadian tea drinker, and he who shall not be named. Speaking of Arch, where is the Selexus video? Also, hi Jebs. <laughs> hello to all my Jebs. I will save that as well. My senses knew you watched Cosmo's Star Wars video. Oh yeah, yeah. We were, me and Fringy watched the uh, his OT one. It was pretty bad. Uh, rags. Yes. We will stare eye to eye as we poop in the door with the door open together. Respond oh. to the Tax and Looney Tune video, please, and I'll stop. No, I won't. Both <laughs> of those are both. You've that's you're putting me between a rock and a hard place here. Both of those are terrible. I don't know. I don't know which is what's worse, his well. video or an actual pile of shit. Not only that, but, you know, watching someone else poop as they watch you poop, like, oof. It's... You're right, it's like, which is worse as an experience? I don't know. Nani, Sargon, I loved your Starship Troopers vid. I'm sure he would appreciate that. Are you guys using Singapore servers this time? Singapore couldn't even save us. So sorry. That's, that's how bad it was. Um, Singapore. 
We are surprised at this wonderful gathering. May the cosmic chicken bless this stream, and may our ears be smoothly touched, but all these wonderful voices. It almost sounded like you said butthole. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that was an accidental or deliberate intention. Either way, wonderful. Um, anyone catch the new live-action Mulan trailer? No, but I've heard it's been getting a shit ton of controversy because of the actors in it supporting, um... Uh, sorry, is it supporting or being against Hong Kong? What's the correct way to against. refer to that? Against. Uh, question for Carl. Ooh, I will. Oh, that looks like one of those uh, complicated questions. I'll save that for when he's here. They mentioned the great A. Jones and the stream crashed. Well, we all know that it was a spell. We just have to figure out who cast the spell. That's the important part. Um. Still can't believe Jay killed Epstein, shake my head. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Thoughts on Beige Frequency's Quinton doc? Personally, I thought it was really good. Also, thoughts on the politics or message of OG Godzilla or Shin? Um, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen really those, so... From what I understand, the message is to do with, like, reckless damage to the nature of the world and it fighting back or, or something like that. That's probably very wrong, but I've only ever seen... One or two of the, what you would call, well, I guess Japanese Godzilla films, so I'd have to look into it, but um, I was always very distracted by, let's say, the production elements of, of those Godzilla films, in, in which prevented me from appreciating a, um, a strong message in relation to politics, I suppose. And as for uh, the Quinton video, um, I did see it. Um, Actually, I, I think we, we put on some of it because uh, we were surprised to see that EFAP was referenced in it, right? It was that one. But um, it's a pretty yeah. good sort of... Let's... We liked it. I liked that video, though. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it, was, it's, it works really well as a sort of like, hey, this has been Quinton for the past, I want to say two years, I think, it spans about. But um, Something like that. It's just funny because Quinton's making these Fallen Titans videos, and it's just like people have, several people have made Fallen Titan equivalent videos about him because his... He's he's been on an adventure when it comes to YouTube. Poor man's lost. Um, best line, Nukem Rico. It was uh, yeah, it's good. Those are good lines in Starship Troopers. Um, I just realized if I slept with someone other than my sister, it would be outcest. Hey, there you go. Yeah, yeah that's the way to put it. Uh, ban outcest. It's uh, it's immoral. I'm sure of it. <laughs> Whenever Sargon goes, the boomer audio follows. I think the audio was okay, right? Up until everything got destroyed. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, just to show you masses where I am in episode 55, you just claimed in that episode that Charmander was the best starter. You're wrong. It's Sin... Is it... Cyndaquil? Cyndaquil? Um, I don't know about those ones. I, I just don't know. Yeah, I, I need to... There was I've Cyndaquil? never heard it pronounced. Cyndaquil, Cyndaquil. Um... Oh, I could see him in my head. One of them's like a blue alligator, and the other one right. was a. He turns into like leaf a beard on its head. Thing. The 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 fire version of that. Um, but if the starters that we're choosing are from the classics, and then you have like a special mention for Pikachu, I think most people vote for Charmander. And then yeah. Squirtle, uh, and then Leafy Rita. Bulbasaur is the best. No, no. <laughs> maybe yeah, stat wise, but he turns into an ugly old man. He, he turned into a fucking <laughs> Venus. It has the word Venus in its name, and Venus is the goddess of beauty. Well, <laughs> I, I think it's supposed to be an ironic name, then. I don't think so at all. I think it fits perfectly. Go ahead and date Venus, or go, go for it. If I, had to, I, if I, well, let's not go down that route. I mean, Venus, could, you, you would agree that, that some work could be done. Let's just say that. Maybe. I don't, I don't think so. I think uh, adding anything would be making it perfect. Alright. I mean, you know, I'm just saying Charizard, man. And you get Flight? Like, damn. Just saying. Just just putting it out there. Cannons mm -hmm. on Blastoise. Hi, but he gets like, uh, what is it, a Hyper Beam? Venusaur gets Hyper Beam. Yeah, but he has to charge it, right? Over a turn first. No. I, isn't that how... Or is that solar beam? One of the beams has to be charged. 
It might be. Um, growth, solar beam, hidden power, sludge bomb. Oh no, uh, sludge bomb. <laughs> sludge bomb. Uh, I think he can learn earthquake <laughs> as well. Well, most fat um, Pokemon can. He he leech seed. He could he could take all my seed that he wants. Oh That's what no, I'll say, I'll say that. Well then, there you go. Uh, Sargon Boomer Energy killed the stream. Bro, Mudkip makes every other starter look autistic. And Mudkip. that is... We are through the first 20-minute selection. Now we've just got the second 20-minute uh, selection, which... or however long that was. Um, hello, all my N-words. Uh, woo, two-part EFAP. Is this EFAP yeah. 65 now? These are all, according to the history of Super Chats, these are all from a mysteriously deleted uh, thing. It's just funny that YouTube's like, I don't know where these are from. <laughs> you were just given Super Chats. Here you go. Super Chats from earlier saved? Yes, actually. We've managed to... This, this, has, been, this has been very productive, actually, this catch-up. Um, this could be something that we end up doing going forward, you know? Like, if we ever we get... Uh, too many to sort of take care of. The reason I really wanted to do it is because we had like four different sources to take care of. Mm -hmm. We're almost, we have two left, almost as soon as we get down to one, I'm gonna be like, yeah, we did it. Um, Working on it. Hello, Massives. Hello. Hello. Um, this doesn't count as two EFAPs in one week, long man. No, it was zero, actually. Count as zero. And that puts me and Rags behind. So we're gonna have to get the two done this week. That is the current plan. Uh, Alex Jones killed the stream. Unironically, I would love to have Alex Jones on EFAP. And I would talk to him about the prequels, and it would be wonderful. Be like, so how about that Sheaf Palpatine? What, 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 what do you reckon? How about that Sheaf? How about that creamy Sheaf Palpatine? Oh, he made someone creamy. Um, you can't say Alex Jones and his brother Mumkey Joe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mumkey Jones, um, who. I believe got the got the YouTube channel back. Is it called like Monkey Jones' new channel? Because that whole thing Did never actually got. Did back? Yeah, Simeon Jimmy is his new channel. Oh, Simeon Jimmy, I like that. That's yeah. a Simeon Jimmy. And uh, yeah, like it's not. I don't know if he's. I don't. I don't even know if he's monetized or whatever else. But it looks like YouTube have laid off him for a little bit because I thought they were deleting his. Um, you know, attempts at getting a new channel, so. Um, but yeah, you know, good stuff he's back. Yes, Arch is here. Welcome to the Toxic Brood. Y'all fellas better not have missed my earlier super chats. I spent good money asking Carl about beers and genital mutilation. Saved. Sargon will check it out uh, once he's hopefully here tomorrow. Oi, Sargon. Pat's bat baton. Still waiting on that license. License for what? You gotta be specific. I'll just say everything, even though that would be accurate. Uh, Rags, just take one for the team so the guy stops. Take one for the team so the guy stops. I'm not sure what that's referencing. No, oh, the the poop the poop thing. Oh, right. And no, I shall not. I don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> don't know if you saw my super chat earlier, because I sent it right as the stream died. Still can't believe Jay killed Epstein. Shake my head. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Yes, we caught it, and we agree. Jay... J J J it's just J for you, I guess. Just Disappointment a. in, in a, the form of a person. Arch is finally here. Y'all should check out fellow longman, the fourth snake. He does critiques on MK9, Injustice, MKX, Injustice 2, and MK11 story. Cool. I'm gonna say the N-word. Narwhal. Also, hi, <gasps> Arch. Get Terminator Resistance. It's the best Terminator game yet and a solid FPS. Huge improvement for Taeyeon after Rambo. They absolutely deliver on the future war. It'll waste... It'll wash the taste of Genesis and Dark Fate right out of your gob. It's on my wish list. I heard it was actually pretty decent. I mean, yeah, I don't have a it's lot of rated highly on time, Steam. but oh. I'll I'll look into more, like, gameplay videos. I should I, If I just check out a Let's Play that makes me think that, like, yeah, this could actually be pretty good, I'll try and check it out. Let me check it out on the store, see um, see what it's doing, if Steam would like to load for me. Take my um, money, long man. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Still on EFAP 52, gonna catch up soon. Molly, you should play KOTOR 2 as soon as possible. Best Star Wars story and antagonist ever. Also, hi, Mauler. I mean, Jordan. again, 
I'm on board with it. The the time I tried to set it up, it was very like clunky, um, in terms of getting everything to work properly. If I could see in the future if I get it working like really well, I wouldn't mind like doing a stream playing it and stuff. But um, not not in the near future. I'm gonna be very busy. Uh, holy shit! Arch Sargon Rags and Mubshly, happy days. <gasps> Happy and that was that was just before we ended the second portion. And by the power of the cosmic chicken, Begidius descended from the skies above. It was witnessed by the one true leader, Jeb Bush, who pleaded to his followers, please clap. This is the Book of Bilbo, chapter 8, <laughs> verse 69. Please clap. <laughs> Screw it, I'm skipping to this video because Arch and Sargon are on it so I can listen live, but still, you guys are goddamn massives. Sargon, be careful talking about your legal battle. Oh yeah, I, I mean, he's nice and vague, which I think is what you're supposed to be with that stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm now wondering if my anger over you guys going so fast is killing your stream, lol. No, no. No, it was, <laughs> it was weird cable issues. And like I said, it seems to be that I can stream successfully. I mean, if we can get even two hours, that's pretty strong. Who knows what'll happen if I try and open up Watch Together, though. Maybe it'll destroy everything. There you go, I'll test that. I'm gonna play a video on mute while while we're streaming, and let's see if that affects absolutely anything. Alright, um... But yeah, that does it for, uh, the second portion. Rags, all we've got left is Super Chats from this stream. <gasps> oh my god! How incredible. Nah, I thought I'd be here all week with all these Super Chats, but we're doing it! Uh, we're making progress. Short man bad. That's, that's fair. Hoy wags, ooh woo. Ooh, hoy. For fuck's sake, Mauler, I need sleep. Just finished last exam. Go to sleep. To the sensual sounds of our voice. Voices. Hello, fellow massives. Hello there. Hello, hi. Uh, Mauler, I stopped at Buffy intervention and angel disharmony. I don't think I can emotionally take it. Just take breaks. Because, yeah, you're at a particularly uh, highly emotional set of episodes. That's, um... If you're that far and you're enjoying it, you're in for a you're in for a ride, as they say. But um just curious to check exactly where that is. Oh man, yeah, you made it past the episode. Alright, well, hope you're doing well, James Moore. Hope you survive. You'll be okay. Though so season six is arguably even harder to get through. But hey, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. Here's your ticket to see episode nine. Happy Hanukkah. Why thank you. Um, I'm banned from your Discord. Poop door open. I'm so sorry, but I, I just I think the people on Discord don't even appreciate the whole pooping with the door open thing too. It's just that's that's just what happens, I guess. Uh, watching one of your videos, then saw you streaming. Fair enough. Uh, Disney did it to stop EFAP 66. Well, hopefully they're not successful in stopping it completely. We shall have to find another way. Uh, do you have any plans? There's always another way. Do you have any plans to change the EFAP format to adjust for the ton of super chats you're getting nowadays? Also, I love EFAP anyways, Floople. Well, We've it, discussed doesn't, it. it doesn't necessarily change anything outside of us doing what we're doing right now. So, for example, let's say there are zero super chats. We cover one or two videos, we look at memes, and then the stream stops. If we mm -hmm. do have super chats, we cover one or two videos, we look at memes, and then the until we hit the timer, we're just responding to Q and A's and stuff. Yeah, pretty much just it doesn't change anything so much as add to the end of it. Yeah, and then obviously it's optional if you guys want to listen to that portion or not. It's just the the people get their answers answered, and this wouldn't have happened if not for my internet screwing up. I think we would have been able to do this, like say for example we we got through that that Sargon stream actually happened. Uh, it would have taken us two hours from completing the content to get onto the Sargon Super Chats. And if the episode was theoretically four or five hours long in content, that would push us to seven, eight, and then we would still have nine, ten, eleven, essentially four hours to get through as many of the Super Chats of that episode as we could, and that could very well have led to all of them. But it will definitely now, because we've got this going. So th this could be the very... Um, Thing that you're referring to in the super chat, technically, this is the change in format. That if me and Rags get too many to deal with, we can just do a quick EFAP mini on an any day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Wait, sort no complaints. Definitely not a problem we mind having. Well, just a yeah, it's, of and do I don't it. think anyone is too upset by it because they'll be like, "Well, their questions no. get to answer," and then people who 
don't care about it, don't have to, to listen, and the people who do listen to it get to learn some stuff about us they may not have known. Because that seems to be the main appeal to these, outside of um, some comedic moments. Uh, free Honk Kong. Makes sense to me. I agree. Free Hong Kong. Honk Kong, Rags. Honk Kong? Yeah. Oh, free them too. The channel, free everybody. The channel Generation Tech slash Films did a series of the best Space Marines, but put the Imperial Guard for the 40k universe because the Adeptus Astartes were too OP. I'm not sure. Put them where? It says, but put the Imperial Guard for the 40k universe. Say that, say that super chat one more time. I will, I will copy and paste it to you, because I'm not sure exactly how I'm supposed to deliver it. Okay, let's take a look. The channel Generation Tech Films did a series of the best space marines, but put the Imperial Guard for the 4K universe because the Adeptus Astartes were too OP. Does that mean that they put them oh, at the um, top? Oh, yeah, they, uh, I guess they rank all the space marines. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, so... The Space Marine, the Adeptus Astartes are the are Space Marines. Um, but generally when people like Space Marines capitals, but Space Marines like Marines in Space, you have everything from aliens to mm. um Mass Effect to um Starship Troopers, all that. So when he meant when he's probably when he made his list of Space Marines, he wasn't like those count as the kind of space marines I'm talking about, even though in their universe they are called space marines. What about interstellar marines? Because they are OP. State uh, Deptus of are ab absolutely OP for that category. And interstellar what what? marines? Interstellar marines? In interstellar marines? They're oh, they're they're <laughs> definitely the best. Absolutely the best, I knew without it. a doubt. They're interstellar marines. You know, I got uh for um Goodell two. Springy, like, made two book covers. I'm looking forward to getting him to do some stupid ones again this year, I think. Like, <laughs> try and come up with even stupider book names. From our esteemed philosophers or uh, talented guests that give us such amazing quotes. Because you can't really make a video game or film analysis video without having some kind of deep philosopher come in. You know, like Karl Marx or... Um... Yeah, you gotta mention somebody. I want to, right. uh, maybe okay, I should do so it with much. Hitler. I should be like, I do a quote, and then I just go, Adolf Hitler, and then move on. <laughs> just like, what the fuck? You don't disagree with a quote, do you? I'll have to look through just all of his quotes reasonable... on art, see if yeah. I can find one that's like something everyone would agree with. Oh, yeah. You know what? We're live, so I'm allowed to do that now. It's funny, I was watching um, a video with Fringy and Jay at one point, and um, the person said something like, Oh, yeah. Uh, so, you know, like, how you might say, this is indicative of something else? Mm -hmm. uh, the person said, this is vindicative of something else. Oh, that's different. And I was like, vindicative? <laughs> and, then the, and then Jay was like, Goodell. But then I was like, no, it's not live. Can't do that. Can't <laughs> do that. Vindicative. So, me talking about it on EFAP means I can put it in Goodell. That's how these rules work now. <laughs> vindicative. Uh, quote something from Hitler, then reveal it was from Hitler, but cut to the next thing quick, so the viewer has little time to comprehend. There you go. Leave them. Just leave them thinking that they agreed with Hitler. Yep, yeah, those disgusting creatures. Uh, rags, Git Musk hey. is saying so the, what the fuck? Git Musk is saying the Star Spangled Banner. Git Musk? Git Musk? <laughs> Guit? Guit Musk? Uh, let's... Uh... I have no idea I'm trying to think is. of what that might be a, an attempt to spell something else, maybe? Is that maybe it's a content creator of some kind? Yeah, maybe. I googled it, but I didn't get that. What if I type that into YouTube? Um, no, I get guitar music. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, so, wanting to respect any desire Wolf has, but what is the policy for him in memes going forward? Well, he is intending to come on at least one more EFAP uh, 
to be his like last sort of online appearance. I will save that question for him because I actually don't know what his uh, perspective on that is. And to be fair, they also excluded Spartans, ODSTs, and Clone Commandos. What was the what would be the criteria that would exclude uh like Halo Spartans and Clone Commandos, I wonder? I don't know. I mean you'd have to be arbitrary to a point. Uh I don't right. know if Halo Spartans would be I mean Halo Spartans would probably be way probably too OP. I guess it depends. I don't know. Oh. Maybe he says criteria in the Git Musk is a guitar musician, which was the weird Chinese spam thing. Oh there you go. Well, he picked a... That's a fine thing to say, he's a Star Spangled Banner. Mm-hmm. Um, alright. Uh, you, you are legit my favorite content creator. I just drove three hours. I had your Star Wars review playing the whole time. It's always a good day when I come home and see more new video notifications. Cheers, mate. Well, you got more on the way. Um, I'm hoping to get an, all the stuff on Episode Nine. Just I'm just going to be working non-stop on that, I imagine. Alongside mm -hmm. some e-fapping. Um, number one, haha, Corbin got blown out. Number two, are you in talks with Dankula? Would love to see him on. Um, so I don't know if you know this about, about this rags, but someone said you should go on EFAP to Dankula on Twitter, and then he said, what the fuck is EFAP? And then I said, like, you can come on if you wanna. He hasn't replied to that, I don't think, but it's probably feasible to get him on here, right? Yeah, I don't think it's unfeasible at all. I think he'd be interested, potentially. We shall see. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm on board with the idea. I'll see if he would be. Uh, also, have Nick Rakita on. He says he's interested. This is for Rags. Uh, yeah, I've heard that he's interested. Uh, yeah, you bet. I Let's think we'll have to cover a legal legal video with him. That would be most suitable. I just don't know what one. Or we have to look through his... Uh, his... his portfolio, as you might say. Um, love you guys. Why, thank you. Pretty kind. Uh, I am disappointed that my alt-right yet somehow leftist efapper had less than 10-hour video. Very disappointed. What happened to my long man bad and my wags? The internet happened, I'm afraid. Yeah. It took from us our <laughs> powers. Yeah. It wasn't up to us. Believe me, we would, we would go 10 billion hours, 1.2 billion if you will, uh, but, you know, sometimes you just, you're, you're halted. Uh, tell Wolf we'll miss him, and that we hope he gets well soon, it's been one hell of a ride, maybe we'll see him in the future as a guest. Uh, so, I, I could save that, but I imagine he'll be able to talk about it once he's come on, but, um, it should be Saturday, as far as I'm aware that that's happening, if you guys... Uh, have questions for him, we'll try and read through them all while he's here for um, his uh, appearance. Uh, it's just that I don't want to answer any of these questions in case he has a different take on them from what I know. Mm -hmm. uh, have you guys thought about doing an audience call-in special? I'm not against that. It's not a bad idea at all. I imagine the way we could do it is have someone like Theo, maybe even Southpaw or, or a selection of other people like in the Discord sort of vetting people and then sending them into here instead of just any and all people, because that could end badly. Yeah, that the would be a good idea. The idea is that we give Dragon them all one in. question, maybe, and then yeah, cycle in. That so. could be cool, yeah. I'm not against that. Not a bad idea. Um, Is Wolf watching? Uh, if Wolf is watching, I want to say goodbye. Hi, Rags, and thank you, Mola. You've all got me through some hard times. Thank you again. Well, hello, and... I'm really glad to hear that. That's the kind of stuff that we, we really, really do enjoy here. Mm -hmm. uh, meme EFAP mini date estimation. Let's see. So it's not going to be tomorrow or the day after. Could be any time of next week. That's probably when it has to be because we're going to be start getting very busy. But So half of the memes videos should be able to be shown to, uh, Saturday. Um, which is my tomorrow right now, but don't think of it that way because it'll get confusing for Americans. Uh, the So the, you'll see a bunch of them then, but the ones that are copyrighted, I will try and get that recorded maybe next week. I don't know. It's just difficult to find the time, that's all. But um, It's on the way. I, I swear, I've got them all collected in a big folder thing. Like They won't be missed. 
Um, how much better would TLJ be if a Shinedown song played every time Kylo is in the shot and only when he's in the shot? Um, I think I've heard two songs from Shinedown, so I don't know what the joke is there exactly, but I mean... I don't know myself. Maybe it's like edgy or something is kind of where it's going with that, but... I mean, yeah, do we just, need to know. humiliate him anymore? Poor Kylo, he can't intimidate like a fish at this point. Let him try and do something, you know. Hello, long man and rags. Hey! Then there is uh, the, the speech symbol, and I think that was a meme that got started because of the video that wouldn't stop being considered live. Like, it was like, they'd started their own, I think they called it like e-chat or something like that. It's, it's like a solidarity symbol. You, they kept the chat alive, and uh, I'm aware of it, guys, and I'm sorry I had to delete that, but for some reason YouTube wouldn't let it die in any way, so, you know, that's how it happened. <laughs> um, Rags, is it true you're commonly mistaken as mundane Matt's twin brother? No. It's <laughs> never happened. What? No, it's not <laughs> happened once. We're like polar opposites of each other. Uh, you are the forsaken now, Mola. Fear us. And then the, the chat symbol with milk. I would never fear you guys. You helped. You, you kept it entertaining while that stream was considered live for no reason. It's all good. Uh, do you think YouTube's new TOS will affect your content moving forward? I really enjoy both your channels, and I don't want to see your channels yeeted. Um, um concern. Might have... Yeah, concern. I'm, I might not be edgy as I used to. I might, I might mm. chill on a few things, but I will, um, I'll keep making the same stuff that I normally do. And as for EFAP, like, obviously, we can't exactly make EFAP TOS friendly, because the TOS is so fucking confusing, so I think that we're just gonna have to keep going, and the second they nuke us will be the day they nuke us. That's pretty much all we can say about it. Uh, we can always move platforms, but, um, yeah, very concerned as it stands. Don't know what's gonna happen exactly. And mm -hmm. those two videos that they took down, the IDubs one and the Gokunara one, like, what the fuck? I just don't... How did that get concluded? I just don't get it's it. It's ridiculous. That's the thing. It's just, what are you gonna do? You, you, can't, you can't play with the rules because the rules are so strange and arbitrary. It's just dumb. Uh, can we appreciate EFAP as a bunch of bros making a living analyzing media and doing live entertainment? Happy for you guys. Jay gay. Um, Jay is gay. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was a sort of, we wanted to do it, and then loads of people, uh, sort of, I think a lot of people would do it themselves or with friends, and so they just see it as a show they can sort of relate to as a sort of activity that they do. Because, um, watching videos in Watch Together and sort of live commenting them after pausing, that's something that I think Wolf, Rags, and I were all doing before we'd met each other. So I think there's a lot of people out there who do it anyway. Oh, and so yeah. seeing a show that's based around is kind of like, oh, cool. Like, this is this is for me. This is the show. I mean, to be honest with you, right, like, if, if this show existed before I had made anything on the internet, there's a good chance I'd be watching it. If you just swap me out for anyone else, I guess. Right up my alley. Discussing pretty much everything and going through a video nice and slowly, looking at all the points they make. Mm -hmm. uh, who would win? Luke Skywalker in Return of the Jedi or Anakin in Revenge of the Sith pre Younglings? Say that one more time just so I. So Luke in Episode 6 versus Anakin in Episode 3 before he killed the Younglings. Who was. What's the question? Who'd win? Probably Anakin. I would go with Anakin, personally. I feel like, um... The only way Luke could be Anakin, probably, is if Anakin made a mistake due to being so pissed, but he wouldn't really be pissed at Luke unless... Assuming they didn't know who each other were, I feel like Anakin would probably outskill Luke at that point. Yeah, I think it, especially just sheer lightsaber skill would be um, Anakin. Anakin's gotten so much more experience and training than Luke at that point, so... But yeah, yeah. you know. Fair question. This one just says several parentheses and sexual harassment. You know, I said that to uh, Brown Table on Twitter after one of his tweets, and he said something like, um, uh, don't worry, I won't steal their motorbike, or something like that. Like, he's in on the memes. Good old Brown Table. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I'm glad he's taken it better than many have. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. That's certain. Their sacrifice will not be forgotten, the speech bubble people. Mauler, is it true you were fired from the toy store for having intercourse with Movie Bob, Bullsackius Busternut? Um, well, no, I mean, I just, I was, I think I was aware of Movie Bob by the time I was working in there, yeah, because I've been aware of him for a while, but uh, never had any personal interactions with him, thankfully. Um, I still haven't, I don't think. I don't think he's directly replied to me in any way, shape, or form. He's only referenced me. Either vaguely or directly. Like, he really didn't like my Black Panther video. I remember that being the first time I was like, oh shit, I'm on Movie Bob's uh, uh, radar, I guess. Um, what did Movie Bob have to say about it? Oh, well, his, his video, it criticized me and Sargon at the same time. He, like, if I remember this correctly, he made a. Like, he, in his review of Black Panther or whatever, he, he made, like, a fake video and a fake account. The account was referencing Sargon, and in the video he plays it, and he makes like three points that I make directly, it's almost verbatim for my video, and then he concludes after the three points that like, you know, black people are of a lesser race. And he's trying to point out that like, that's what a lot of these reviews were um, trying to hide, was the motivation is much more sinister than they appear to be, but he's just blatantly wrong, because I don't actually think anything like that, I just want well-written stories. Mm -hmm. I think we um, we went over it in EFAP, one of the earlier ones, but uh, it's funny because I think at then, at that point, I would have been like, wow, that's outrageous, but these days I'd be like, no, oh, Diabito's at it again. Good old, good old crazy person. Keep on keeping on. Uh, if a movie can be spoiled, it's probably not great. Um, so uh, If a movie can be spoiled, it's probably not great. Well... There's, I don't know about that. The first experience of watching a story unfold is something you can only get once, and having it be 100%, you know, not so... Because the, the implication is like, oh, so the movie isn't good as soon as you know what happens in the movie, and it's like, no, 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 not necessarily, it's no. just that it's a very... It's removing a big aspect of it. Yeah. It's something it's, that you can't get back. For example, like, I didn't fucking want to know what happens in Infinity War or Endgame before seeing them. Now that I know what happens in them to watch them again, it's like Infinity War still survives a lot of scrutiny while Endgame doesn't. Like, mm -hmm. there's... Whether or not you can spoil something, I don't think um, necessarily indicates anything about the quality of the story itself. It's just, uh, it's just a nice experience that we all appreciate, not knowing what's going to happen. Um... Hello, you massives. May this EFAP mini become an EFAP maxi by the power of money. Watch Beastars. The entire season will be on Netflix soon. I've heard good things about the show. I don't mm. know anything about it, though. And yeah, this will be the longest EFAP mini. It's already over two hours. Oh, no. Man, time flies. Um, Does EFAP mini to catch up on Super Chats ends up receiving too many Super Chats to achieve this stream's objective? Bruh. Also, for the billionth time, watch Hardcore Henry, you dumbos. I haven't seen it yet. We'll see it eventually, 100%. Yeah. And don't worry, we'll, we are catching up. This We will not be defeated, we'll be fine. Oh yeah, do not you worry. Uh, More Man and Rag is, I don't get why you like the first episode Mandalorian. Lots of stupid stuff, so many callbacks to the OT. Feels like Disney Star Wars. It doesn't feel like Disney Star Wars at all to me. I I, I'd be curious what in there is like Disney Star Wars. Well, once the next three episodes come out, um, I do want to do like an episode dedicated to Mandalorian, and we can go through the eight yeah. episodes and talk about the plots of each, and then the season as a whole. I think we will explain what we really liked about the first episode. Yes, I would definitely be down with that. Uh, this person goes on to say, "I wish I could explain. Did you watch Robot Head's video on it?" W oh, we did. It was fucking garbage. <laughs> he got a lot of things wrong, unfortunately. Yeah, Robot Head's video was terrible. Um. The word Dumbo is blocked when you don't capitalize the D. Thanks, Susan, with a lowercase s. Is that serious? You can't say Dumbo, really. But, but you can if you capitalize the D, apparently. Because <laughs> it's referring to the Disney movie, I suppose? Yeah, I guess so. That's, uh... You could talk about the Disney movie, but calling anybody the Disney movie, well, that's just... That's... You gotta draw the line somewhere. That's some funny shit. Um, you liked Aiden's tweet today. When's the wedding? I, there's no wedding planned, but um, we'll probably have it back when we do the the all women EFAP. I think that's still on the cards. Here, Jay Longbones, that Star Wars Gill. We'll cover Jenny Nicholson. It'll be fantastic. 
Imagine the Reddit threads. Three toxic women cover a woman. Disgusting. Uh, for fuck's sake, Han is a smuggler. Well, Han is a smuggler, sorry. Uh, I'm sure that the Falcon has ways of avoiding detection. Well, even if that was the case, you can literally see it. Like, on the Death Star, you would have several, you know, operators of any kind. They would see the, the, the Millennium Falcon heading for the trench. So, like, I don't think the Falcon can avoid that. Um, I was about to say rags. That sounds like it's from Warhammer. I'm not 100% uh, sure what, what that's does. Referencing. I can't. It would have been early in the stream, but I can't remember. Well, it very well might have been. Oh, is it? Uh, it's the sword rocket thing. The sword rocket. Mm -hmm. Sword missile. Well, hey, maybe we maybe maybe we had the same idea, but uh, he maybe he said it right before I did. Oh no, but, I just mean yeah. that when you were talking about it, I think this person got the impression that um. You were talking about something from 40k? Or it sounds like it is. It does sound like it is. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. So, we are um, of like mind. A lot of people are telling me that the spider oracle that may have been taken out... Of, well, the oracle that was taken out of the film was, was originally going to be a spider, by the way. Of Star Wars Episode Nine. Yeah. So, I want the spider, though. I kinda, want it to be as crazy and out there as it can be yeah. at this point. Just saying, kind of screwed up that they, they're copying our lore into their own film, but alright, fine. Yeah. They copy posters, they copy lore. If you're gonna copy, copy rough. the best, I suppose. I suppose, sincerest uh, form of, you know, flattery. Um, so does this mean the rocket chainsaw meme is now reality? I think we're close, we're getting there. Rocket chainsaw, we it's, it's only a matter of time. Well, hey, I mean, we the Space Marine, uh, the, the Space Force, Trump Space Force just got approved, which I unironically am very happy that it has, which means that soon we're going to be getting actual Space Marines. So, yeah, well, you know. Space Marine Chainsaw thing. Missile, it's a possibility. You can do it. Um, what? He has a sword? He's going to attack him with a sword? This dude's going to kill Indiana Jones with a sword. And that was, is that a quote from Rags, apparently? What is? Uh, well, this is what it says. I, I feel like yeah. I'm, mm, yeah. Yeah, this... that's a uh, yeah, that's that's from my video that Brown Table did because Brown Table was making fun of Indiana Jones. Cause he said, "Oh, well, you must have a problem with Indiana Jones um, killing that guy with a sword who wasn't a threat to him." And oh. I was like, and then I yeah, that was yeah. The guy who was about to try and go and kill him with a sword, he <laughs> shot that guy. And Roundtable thought that was a good comparison to make. Well. <laughs> it was not a good one. It was a very bad one. Uh, Rags, how did you come up with the name Rags? No story or anything behind it. It was just, I um, wanted a name for a dog character that was short and simple. Um, not necessarily mundane. But, you know, just something just short and sweet and kind of, you know, nothing fancy or edgelordy or, you know, or original character do not, do not steal. You know, just a short, sweet little name for a dog that seemed doggish. That was really about it. I just settled on it and just went with it. Have you, have you heard it anywhere before that made you think of it or was it just... No, I don't think so. I think I, think I, I might have just saw it written out or spoken. Hmm. And and I know that there's like a, a kid song called like, like My Dog Rags. And that is, by the way, that is entirely coincidental that that there's a children's song called My Dog Rags. I legit um have never heard that song uh before. Um or at least until after um I had the character and the Internet name and everything. I mean, they probably don't do it the same way as you. They don't put the apostrophe between the G and the eggs. The, the, the eggs. <laughs> the, they don't put the apostrophe all over the place. They don't add several S's. You know, I'm just saying, like, you, you got to take that into account. Yes, that's, that's all it is. Nothing special. Um, pineapple on pizza is culinary heresy. Give milk to agree. Yeah, I, I submit milk to agree. Uh, Movie Bob defended pineapple on pizza. No joke. Doesn't that make sense, though? Movie Bob, yeah, he defended it because it's food. <laughs> it is consumable, therefore it is good. 
Uh, someone in chat said, uh, hilarious note on your name, Rags. Uh, a, ra uh, a rag translated into Romanian is a popular folk dog name from Kid Tales. So there you go. There you go. And again, I'm telling this is all purely coincidental. I had I had no idea. I was like, Rags, that's a good name for a dog. I'm Rags now. Um, for Mola, I watched a lot of material, and the First Order's existence makes sense, but Ryan could have easily fit a short explanation in. I think it can make sense. As it stands, it doesn't make sense. Because we're missing way too much in terms of uh, how we got from episode 6 to 7. And they still haven't bothered to give, an, uh, give us anything in the main films. Because they're allergic to world building, apparently. Um, have you watched the new Rise of Skywalker clip? Seems to be confirming leaks even more. Kylo flying through the Red Nebula to reach Exegol, Palpatine making Snoke, etc. Yes, uh, a lot of people are saying that it confirms Snoke was just a Palpatine puppet the whole time, which, I, like, people are using that as like, see, you guys wanted this big history, but he's just a puppet. And it's like, that doesn't change anything. Yeah, We've still got to know anymore. how and what happened, whether he's a puppet or not. <laughs> yeah, why him? How did he get to be the leader? Why be a puppet at all? Why not reveal himself? Why not? It's just oh, so many questions. And also, what a fucking cop out for the character's backstory. I, I know, I know. I Absolute doubt that was the intention. Cowardly but... ass cop out. Come on. Weak sauce. Uh, rags Pathetic. have been subbed to you longer than anyone, and I found many of your f many of my favorite YouTubers through you, like Moeller and Lindy Beige. Oh, that's great. Yeah, they're both great uh, content creators. Oh, thanks. I think you're pretty good too, Rags. Yay. Is a date and time set for the big post TROS EFAP? The current expectation is 7 p.m. GMT on the 21st of December. And that's probably going to be a long one. We're intending to do the same thing with that one as we did with Endgame, where we're going to go through that plot and we're going to talk about everything. Uh, guests are not 100% confirmed. But it could be a six-man. It could have people like Jay, you know, people like Metal, people like pe all kinds of people from all colors of the rainbow. That's all of the people, every one of them. But that is the expectation. No promises because my house could explode or any other things could happen. You know, that's just one of the potential yeah. things. You can't say it's impossible. It's a potential. Uh, the Fingers Dalai Lama crossed. gets his pizza and gives a $20 bill. A few moments go by while he waits for his change. He asks, where is my change? The pizza maker replies, change must come from within. You'll appreciate that, Rags, right? Um. Sure. Oh. It's great. Alright, well, you know, that's something. Pineapple on pizza equals thrown off roof into volcano. Well, we don't actually know what Ra's take on pineapple on pizza is yet. I suppose we will get that one day. Um, you guys use logistically when you mean logically. Uh, whenever I use logistically, I usually mean it in a mechanical sense. Like, it's not logistically possible for Han Solo to be in two places at once. Um, as far as I know, that's how you can use that. Let's have a look. The logistics of large-scale rocks show demand certain necessities. Activity and organization of movement, equipment, and accommodation. So logistics refers to the activity or organization of movement, equipment, accommodation, commercial activity of transporting goods to customers. Um, I could be using the word wrong, but... Uh, I mean, I think most people know what I'm saying if I am using it wrong. Uh, I always feel, because if, I, yeah, I'm usually referring to, like, the movement of something being impossible. Or the action of something being impossible logistically. I think that still applies. Mm -hmm. uh, like, logistic, uh, like, logistics and coming from, log like, using that in the sense of logically. Yeah, well, the Super Chat says we've been using logistically when we mean logically, but I think it's still applicable um, if you're talking about, like, it's not logistically possible for them to deliver an elephant inside a, a, a Rubik's Cube or something. You're like, yeah, that's just, you can't do that. 
An apt example, certainly. <laughs> My brain is clearly running on fumes. Uh, Judge Doom is a murderous toon disguised as a human, Rex. We we did do the Googling. and we Yeah, out. there we go. Yeah, I think we came to the correct conclusion on that one. Um... Rags, if you don't say hi, I'll actually, truly, genuinely, literally die a hundred times. Oh, well, once is too many, so hello. Mm -hmm. Hi. Just to make sure that, you know, we're being specific. But hi. In the book The Hobbit, the eagles explain to Gandalf and the dwarves that they won't be flying them to the Lonely Mountain because men will shoot at them. Wouldn't the same apply for Mordor? Yeah, but there's no line for that in the film. And why would men shoot at the eagles? And surely you could find a pathway that wouldn't go over the territories of man, if you will. Maybe. It's but, possible. Um, that might be... I don't know, it might be really, really long. Hard to say. Mm -hmm. uh, when Wolf recommended the Expanse books, I gave the first one a try and ended up devouring every one of them that were written. Thank you, Wolf. And hi, Rags. Hello. Did you hear that they announced a new Bioshock? I did. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. I have, I have, uh, I'm neutral. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I, it could be good. It could be great. It could be anything in between. Uh, Shmi and Padme will force Ghost assist Rey. Oh, could you imagine? Shmi Skywalker and Padme, and they're shooting their little lasers. Anything is possible, guys. Anything's possible. Um, yeah. Narrel T sorry, Narel or Narel TLJ defense, thirty-eight minutes, EFAP response, seventy-two hours. So a couple of people have been talking about this. I guess a guy called Narel has made a TLJ defense. I don't know if he references EFAP or not, but people have been saying to me it's EFAP bait. I haven't checked it out yet, but um let's just say we're not short on TLJ videos. Uh it may end up in the backlog, it may end up in the log of things we never get to because of all the other things we gotta get to, but... Um... Besides, once episode 9 comes out, jeez. <laughs> and that's the thing, once episode 9 comes out, be consumed by? there will still be essays made about TLJ. Absolutely, like, they're gonna, ones. if anything, some people will try and use it to justify stuff from, like, how episode 9 made The Last Jedi a masterpiece, or oh, something yeah. like that. Oh yeah, all of the I'm takes sure will happen. I'm sure they will try and find a way. Uh, leak update. Ray kills... No, Ray dies killing Sidious, then Kylo climbs out of the pit and brings Ray back to life with a kiss and then dies himself. I'm not joking. What? Well, uh, apparently Ray might die trying to kill Sidious. Uh, she'll be successful, but she'll die, and then Kylo will climb out of the pit that he was thrown down and kiss her to bring her back to life and then die. Fuck it. Go for it. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Yeah, just why not? I don't space elephants and time travel, destiny, do diodes. Just do it. Mm -hmm. Dyads. Sorry, just go for it, man. Just go for it. Do whatever. At least make it fun. Oh, I'm hoping to laugh. Um, wow, a live EFAP mini. I don't think it'll be a mini. Hi. Oh, it's just gonna be a long mini. It'll be fine. Doxastic involuntarism has been thoroughly discredited, Rag. See, attential voluntarism. Not sorry, but you do have control over your beliefs. I uh, didn't say that. I didn't say you don't have control over your beliefs. At least not full control. Um, glad Titanfall 2 came out free on PS4. I can get my friends into it. Love the game been playing since the first game. Titanfall 2 is still one of, if not my favorite FPS, and Monarch is best girl. Only ever hear good things about Titanfall 2. Yeah, Titanfall 2 is amazing. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't played Titanfall 2, you owe it to yourself to play it. It's one of the best uh, shooter, especially campaign-wise. It's one of the best shooters in recent years. It's a probably masterpiece level. In terms of campaign especially. Uh, for all we know, maybe she was being abused by her boyfriend too, or maybe she threw the boyfriend under the bus to keep Arthur. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, we said there's loads of options for how that could have concluded the way it did. And uh, nothing sort of stands in the way. Um, hashtag exit polls. I think that relates to the, uh, the British vote currently happening. TLJ Defenders are now labeled Tico's Chico's, please. Tico's Chico's. Oh, I get it. 
Um, and now my fifth movie, King Arthur, Clive Owen Vision. Thoughts? I enjoyed it, but I don't know how it does in terms of historical accuracy. It's probably not very accurate, but fun. I Is this the... Um, oh, from 2004. Yeah, it's, uh, I remember Stellan Skarsgård is, like, the Saxon king dude. He's quite good at it. I haven't seen this. It looks very silly. I mean, I wouldn't describe it as silly. I, I'm, I'm ready to, I'm ready to watch it sometime. All right, watch it tonight, yeah? Nah. <laughs> Have you guys seen the Kylo beat up Palps clip? Ugh. Yes. And, um... No. You know, the more the merrier. The more HD clips I can acquire for my eventual video, the better the video can be. Oh my but goodness. Release the whole movie onto YouTube, do it. It's fine with me. Um... Cover Neryl's video on TLJ if it's not too late. Um... I'll have to th have a look at what on we're playing. What? What's the video <clears throat> about? It's about TLJ, apparently. I don't know specifically what he says in this video, but a lot of people have been telling me about it. Um, if the leaks are true, what could you yell out in the theater to make everyone laugh? And when would you do it? Uh, I'm worried I'll be the only one laughing. Um... You know what? When, when, if Rey accidentally does blow up the transport and they all think she's killed Chewie, that would be a great time to burst out laughing, I think. Because I think the audience would be confused as to whether or not they should be shocked or confused, and if they have a bunch of people laughing... Mm -hmm. They might join in as being like, what the hell? Um, but yeah, you know, I'm not sure. That's a tough one. Uh, Rhino Milk. A new Terminator game, 92% Steam positive, 100 or hundreds of reviews praising setting, fidelity, world building story. Metacritic 58 citing non AAA production thin gameplay. Shows differences in what audiences value. Yeah, man. In fact, let me go and take a look at that right now. Let me look at the Metacritic. Because the critics get it wrong a lot. Or at least they deviate. Yeah, even on IMDb, the user score for the game is at an 8.1. Mm. So, yeah, that's a pretty big, pretty big difference. IGN gave it a 40. IGN. Uh, found so I'm, that... I'm curious. I might uh, do a review on it. I kind of have three that I can hopefully get out pretty soon. Uh, I want to do, I got to finish the Modern Warfare one, the Halo one. I have footage for the both of them, but I, I want to review GTFO once I play it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, found that fan critic divide rather interesting. Yeah. As a Jutisms, I will give all you brothers the shackle pass. Slice and dice. Hey, there you go. The slice and the dice. So you guys are watching the Crisis on Infinite programs, right? Is the rest of the CW TV versus Tismi as Batwoman? Yes, it's probably. Fucking, oh, it's Jesus Christ. We would. <laughs> when it? When is that coming out? The well, we've got parts two and three to watch tomorrow. For I, the part that we did watch. Oh, when's I mean, that like coming our out? Yeah. Uh, as, as soon as it's finished editing, I guess. I'm not actually editing that one. I. I um, I, give me just a second. I'll be right back. Can use the loop? Sure. But yes, we did part one, and it looks like it will be amusing. Um, for you guys, I mean, because we're dealing with some, uh, some tisms, to say the least. Uh, though, the one thing I'll say is, like, there's clearly a lot we don't understand because of the fact we haven't seen the other shows. But I'm not gonna be the one to say like, hey, looks like these shows could be really good and that we're not uh, giving it a fair shake. It's like, oh my god, they look like they're terrible. But there was me thinking that Batwoman was like... <sighs> special in that regard. But uh, we checked out a lot of discussions from like fan bases that are around Batwoman. And a lot of them would, you'd, you'd find the defenses of Batwoman being like, it's still better than most of the other CW shows. And it's like, fucking... What? And then it'd be like, wow, like, EFAP ripping into it this hard. Have they never watched a CW show? And I think it's just that CW fans have been desensitized to the bad. Like, that's, that's my only assumption about that one. Um, love you, Rags and Mola. Please mail her more videos. Oh, they're on the way. Yes, sir. Uh, that's a question for Rags. I will hang on to that for a moment. 
Disney's marketing, the lies of Skywalker. Also, also, hello, Rugs and Grace Long. I'm sure he would say hello back, and thank you. Um, Astartes is back, and he's begun teasing Episode 5 stuff on Twitter. Uh, the Long Man Protects. Episode 5 stuff on Twitter, The Long Man Protects. Oh, I, I'm going, good. Like, I know people love his stuff, so... Good. Keep it up. I Miss Wolf? Well, he will be making an appearance. Um, like I said, the expectation is Saturday. That could change. Um, but th that that's sort of uh, the angle, I think. Um, why is Jay talking about murder in chat? Jay, stop it. You're gonna, you're gonna upset everyone. Have you ever seen Movie Bob's 100 plus episode Game Overthinker series? Bob plays every character and there's dozens of them. I have no idea what the Game of a Thinker is in terms of, like, a show, but I've been linked by several different people a particular episode, and I think it's about how he talks about, like, uh, so, sort of health for a gamer, or how to how to improve life as a gamer, and it's supposed to be, like, incredibly hard to take seriously because he's Movie Bob. I'm back. It sounds amusing. Just in yep. time. Hi, Rags. Hooray! Hello. Are you still making content for exclusively games? Do you have any way uh, of getting in touch with site staff? Dedicated fans would like to revitalize the site and could use your help. Um, yeah, I, I assume that you would email Jeremy's YouTube channel, The Quarterings. But yeah, I, I do. It's, um, yeah, I, I do intend to keep doing stuff for them. Um, as I mentioned a little bit earlier before this, I got plans to get hopefully three reviews out pretty quick because uh, I've got this stuff for him and I do play keeping that sort of thing in mind. So I would email um, email the quartering. I assume that on his YouTube page there's a business email. Maybe send him a tweet. Uh, do, do, do. We give you money to read things and you read things while we give you more money. That's how it works. Thanks for the funnies. Mary Jebmus. Epstein had information that would lead to the arrest of, and then it cuts off. Damn. But yes, uh, thank you. Uh, rags, we will poop face to face, eye to eye. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think we will. I mean, at least, you know, you've been thinking about it. You gave it some thought. It's not like you just rejected it outright, you, you know? No, I was just thinking of I was just thinking, how am I going to phrase this no? Mm-hmm. Um, I hear the Bible Reloaded hosts like Last Jedi. Would you ever have them on for a debate on that? And the new Star Wars movie? Also, hi, Rags and Longman. Hello. Hello. I mean, we're not really uh, against having any... We're not against it. But, um, I don't know anything about I think about they them. would... Or they'd probably hate us. Oh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't actually know. Is like, I, yeah, they're they're pretty pretty lefty types. Uh, yeah. Um, live action Mulan. Why not Hua Mulan from two thousand nine? I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, tell Arch that the Death Corps of Krieg is the best regiment and anyone who disagrees is a heretic and that Krieg Astartes would be scarier than anything in the warp. I'm going to save that for Arch because I have no idea what it means. Yeah, you tell him. Um, true fact, all's quiet on the Western Front started starts by extolling the bonding value of all the German soldiers pooping together outside Sand's doors. So, apparently, there is value to pooping together without doors, Rags. What do you think? Is there? I, I, I can't. I gotta hear that one more time. All's quiet on the Western Front starts by extolling the bonding value of all the German oh, soldiers yeah. pooping together outside Sand's doors. Uh, yeah, I read that book. I was, uh, that part of it? Well, here's the thing. A, a lot of it was a a kind of a necessity of their situation. Um... I am not in that situation. I do not have to go through with that. I'm sure that you could really bond together over a good poop, but uh, I, I got other things for that. I uh, don't need to do that myself. Uh, thoughts on Krampus? It's become a new Christmas tradition for my family. Also, Theo sounds like Wesley from Buffy and Angel. I can't unhear it. I don't think he sounds like Wesley, but fair enough. And um, 
I like Krampus. Um, I agree with Red Letter Media that the sound design on that film was fucking fantastic. Wasn't a huge fan of how it ends. I was kind of like confused and almost bored. Um, but I enjoyed it, and I would recommend people check it out because it's uh, it's fun. You seen Krampus Rags? I have not. I heard it's good though. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd comfortably say it's strong. Um, I need yeah. to watch it again to be sure of exactly how I feel about it, but yeah. Um, hey, if I make a send-off meme video of Wolf, should I rush to get it out before he's on or save the idea and refine it? Also need to purchase After Effects again for that, or can I commission it? Also give my dollar to Wolf. Um, obviously, if we were to even try and open up something like that, like, oh, get your things in before X time so Wolf can see them, I wouldn't want to disappoint people by having them, like, make something that doesn't get to him, so I'm just gonna say, like, he's coming on Saturday is expected, it could be another day, and I'll show him what I have ready in the backlog, I don't want to try and make it so it's like, hey, everybody get your stuff in, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, yeah, like I said, I just, I, I don't want to create any expectations with that. Um, uh, when might Tosspot Snacks and the Doggo return? There's no reason why they uh, they can't come on again relatively soon. I, I'd be cool with that. Probably all three of them. It'd be nice to have like a a crossovery thing. Um, yeah, I'm not against it. Hopefully soon. I guess is what I would say. Uh, might have to do it after. Too busy over the next two days and barely able to catch Saturday's stream. Also, hi wags and goodbye all my n words. Hello, and goodbye. Uh, the Don or Keanu Reeves? Who's the best? Also, hi rags. Hi. Um, the Donald Keanu Reeves. That's that's pretty tough, honestly. The Don or Keanu Reeves. They're both so wholesome. I think the Don is just a step above. I don't know. It's almost like they're not even. That's oh, tough. I don't even know. <laughs> I guess I would have I to say the the, the the they probably that, wouldn't even fight because neither of them would engage in such such activities with each other, they'd yeah. be, they, they, you know... Probably an impossible scenario. One of those things where it's like, oh, well, what if it happens? And it's like, yeah, but even if it was to initiate, they would probably immediately, like, agree to, you know, calm down and talk about whatever's going on. Also, Maybe look at that. Both, uh... Look at that animated little rags, rags. Which, oh, uh, let me, I gotta see it. You should be able to still chat. see if you pull There's up. my chat. Oh, the new one? Um, well, it's just one of those animal sticker things. Because I know some of them are really, really good. They show up in OBS uh, now. They didn't before. That's cool. Maybe that was part of the update, I guess. Yeah, it was... Do they still not allow people to send text? I guess, and... I guess not. I don't know why that they would do it that that's way. That's so terrible. Um, I kind of want to do a parody of DSP. Thoughts? Go a parody for it. of DSP could be fun. Like a normal person would be a parody of DSP. A normal person would be a parody of DSP. Yeah, like well, I mean, like in the sense that DSP's like he's functional enough to be sort of normal, but being actually normal is kind of like it's close enough to the to DSP, while at the same time being different enough to where I don't know. It's almost like working backwards. It's kind of like Jeopardy. I mean, if they're talking about, like, being terrible at games without giving away that you're doing it as a joke, go for it. <laughs> yeah. It could be fun. Might be tough. Might be tough. It's like, True. how do you parody Jared or Movie Bob? Well, Movie Bob is probably easier. Um, I am a friend. I am the friend and the dog of a massive who is criminally lengthy. I am the friend and dog of nothing in particular. That's from More Ragsy. More Ragsy? I don't, I don't know what to make of that. <gasps> uh, hope Wolf's right. last EFAP will cover some great videos. Well, the plan is at least one tonald, so we got that. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I guess they got a lot of sheep ones. I just like to picture that they're you. They they are kind of well. They are very cute and they're very animated. They need so, the glasses. Ugh. They do though. So close, YouTube. So close. 
apparently they just announced a sequel to Hellblade, which both excites me and worries me because I really adore Hellblade Senua Sacrifice. So, is it a game that lends itself to being a sequel? Uh, it ends at an appropriate place. So, um, uh, that's why I'm concerned. I feel like if it ended where it ended where it ended in a good place. So, mm, I'm I'm just worried. I think it told a, a decent enough, a complete enough story. But if they can do another Hellblade with what they've done, then I am, I'm ready for it. I I that was my game of the year for I think 2017 when it came out. Mm -hmm. I really really loved. Hellblade. Um, so let's hope let's, let's fingers crossed that the sequel's just as good. Uh, Muller, I saw the last evap was taken out and there were storms in your area. Clearly all signs of Goliath and in your vicinity too. Glad to see you're okay. Oh yeah, I survived. Okay. Pizza Man helped. We did it. What happened to episode 41? Episode 41? Is, is episode 41 not around? Episode 41? That's the... I don't know. When we cover a... Is it a closer look, I think? No. It just says Alcatisms and Chaos with Critical Drinker. Seems to be available still. All right, that's strange. Everyone's well. Every once in a while, does that work for you? Or? Um, let me take. Let me click on it. Uh, yeah, five hours twenty nine minutes. Oh my god, that was a short EFAP. Yeah, can you back back of the day? Goodness, I'm so sorry about that, guys. Like we need to get a step up our game. Um, but yeah, should be fine. Rags, what are your favorite Killing Floor two classes? Probably. Field Medic is my favorite. That's the one I play the most. After that, probably Firebug and uh, Commando. Uh, I mean, they're all pretty good. I like them all pretty much. The ones I, I don't play support much or Berserker much. Um, but there's none I dislike. But prob probably the top two, my favorite would be, uh, favorites would be Field Medic and Firebug. Mm. Say liquor, but replace the L with an N. Oh my goodness. You're trying to get us fired Nick from the internet. Nika? Nikua. That's, that's, that's what you, I'm Nick sure you could say, yeah. Nikua? 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 Um, can we start a birthday fund for Wolf? Like, people can end a super chat with full Wolf, and every year he can get the super chat money in the pot. I think he should get something from us showing we still care. Um, I can present the idea of this sort of thing to him, but I think it'll make him really uncomfortable, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think he would like it. Um, yeah, he wants to just slide away, you know? Uh, the only problem with this format is that it's hard to know when your super chats will be read. I yeah, mean, um, I mean, but I think that's just... I think that's just the... You, you commit to that by giving a super chat in, I would imagine. Like, you have to know when you when you submit a super chat that you... You, it's not going to be a guarantee of when exactly it's read. It, it might have been if there were less of them, but it's kind of hard for me and Rags to like categorize all of these, or at least give a link to people. If you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, there's just so many of them. There's I don't think there's just nothing we can do at that point. If we want to read them out, but we want to like we want to read them out, it's just it's what's going to happen. I don't think there's anything we can do about it. Mm -hmm. Uh, if a meme is dank, a man is not only right to steal it, he is obligated to do so. Alexander Hamilton. That makes sense to me. Also, if I remember correctly, the criteria they set for the Space Marine list was no super soldiers and no special forces or special operations units. Alright, well there you go. That seems like it would knock out a lot of fun comparisons, though, in terms of like power level and training and stuff. I know it, it would could. be un unfair to compare, like, two human factions that are trained in different ways, and then a super soldier. It's like, well, obviously the super soldier wins. But, you know, may maybe open it up for a secondary list. Um, banned from the Discord for saying fake and gay. Do help. <laughs> I'm, so I'm sorry. Really? I, I, I don't know if true, but... Well, I... if, if that's why you got banned, then I do not... I don't, I don't like that. You disavow. If... 
if that's why you got banned. It would surprise me if the, the, the mods had banned someone simply for saying that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I'm unaware of any rule for it. I'm pretty, sure gay, I'm pretty sure faggot is straight up allowed on my Discord right now. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't give a the shit. only thing that they take care with is uh, TOS stuff, and Discord is tizzing me with, um, like, if you yeah, get enough I reports. Got it in yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm still several EFAPs behind. Good day, Muesli. Hi, Rags. And to Wolf, gonna miss you, mate. I hope that this is the right choice for you and things improve in your personal life. Keep mm -hmm. J, hail Ra. Uh, Rakita hates Legal Eagle with the power of 100 sons. Hence why if we were to have him on, we would have to cover Legal Eagle. That would be fun, probably. Yeah, it'd be great. I'd be totally down for that. Good to see you guys. I just came in, but I want to know if you'll do a response to Neryl's TLJ video. Yeah, see, a lot of people are interested in this video. Yeah, let's do um, it. We'll have a look. Uh, I don't know if it'll be anytime soon, but it seems like people want to see it sooner rather than later. So uh, mm -hmm. we'll have a look. Um, also, get Nick Rikita on. He said he'd love to come on the show. He's a he's a good man and hates Legal Eagle for being a massive tism. He knows a lot about Rhino Milk, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, let's do it. Um, opinion on pineapple on teriyaki burger. <laughs> Have you got a perspective on that, Rex? I I'm not gonna, even gonna a teri pineapple on a teriyaki burger. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That sounds that seems really odd. Uh, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. That doesn't sound good. Uh, someone please make a meme of Danny holding Drogon by the tail, working him across King's Landing like a vacuum since the show ended like a Dyson. It sucked. Oh. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, very good. Or a, or a Hoover. Thoughts on the Hobbit trilogy? It's very different from the one book it was based on. Also, hi, Wags. Hello. Uh, I haven't seen the Hobbit movies since they first came out and I saw them in theaters, but they were like, okay. Yeah. I can enjoy them, less so the third one. The third one is really fucking annoying and bad. Like, this is what was wrong with it. The first two, I can watch and be like, yeah, this is a film. Yeah, um, but it would, I would have to watch them thoroughly and explain what, like, I feel like are the big problems with it. I remember, funnily enough, watching Lindsay Alice's breakdown of the, the films. Um, perhaps go and check that out. I, I'd say tacitly, because of how many videos she makes that are tis me, but, you know, it's... I remember them being pretty good. I believe Wolf thought that they were good videos too. So, uh, and he's a he's a big into the criticism of the Hobbit and the love for Lord of the Rings. That might give you a, a good idea if that if that's what you're curious about. Um, will all women EFAP be called E Schlick? Oh my goodness. Well, it'll be called whatever we're covering, like responding to that, and then it'll be you get to look at women more than likely. I think. Um, hi Rags. What is your favorite faction in 40k? I don't know enough about 40k to really have a favorite. I the most I know the most about the Imperium of Man, but I don't really I don't I'm not invested enough to have like a favorite faction, I guess. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I I just, you know, I I guess I have a soft spot for uh for no for humankind. Uh please split this between every guest on EFAP ever. I don't know if I can split $2 between like 50 people. Are you gonna dis? Are you gonna dishonor his request? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. That's you're asking a you're asking a lot to take two dollars and split it between like fifty people. Also, I genuinely hope you do call the next Jenny Nichols stream. The whole stream is about Jenny Nichols. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Is it, we could. Oh my could god! They did it again. These twelve hours are exclusively about Jeb Nichols. <laughs> We'd still have it out there as well, because we'd be like, hey, we said Jeb Nichols, it's not here. Yeah, we said Jeb, not Jenny. Good day, guys. Muller and Critical Drinker converted me away from cinema sins, and even Jeremy John's style feels off now. I binge your critiques like an epic Netflix series and look forward to more. Um, yeah, you, there's, it's a, there's a whole spectrum out there, and uh, cinema sins' problem isn't even the format, it's just the accuracy. If cinema sins had somebody who could just get him accurate criticisms, and then maybe a comedy writer that could maybe just, eh, just maybe get a little bit more flair, like, it could work. Um, a lot of people compare me to CinemaSins, and I'm always like, hey, but I'm accurate, though. 
And, it, you know, they'd expect me to be like, no, not at all. It's like, well, if you're just talking about the fact that I point out flaws, then yeah, I guess I do that. Um, but yeah, get a comedy writer that's talented and stay accurate, uh, Cinema Sins, and you'll, you'll be fine. As for Jeremy Johns, uh, I, f I find him alright. Uh, not subscribed, but checking out his videos every once in a while. Um, but, you know, glad you're enjoying our stuff. Me and Critical yeah, Drinker. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to hear. I've been waiting forever to make a shitty Rags is on the rag again joke, but Rags is such a stand-up guy, the opportunities never come. Oh. No. I'll have my- I have my moments. Uh, really wish I could talk to you about Mando. Well, uh, like I said, once all episodes are out, we will try and make an episode almost dedicated to Mandalorian. How about that? Yeah, it? I think... Yeah, the whole... I think we could do that. We could definitely devote to it. I mean, eight episodes should be enough material. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, but we talked about it on World Class Bullshitter's channel the other day, uh, of here and there. Mm-hmm. That was but, like a uh, prelude. Kind of, yeah. A taste of what is to come. I wish men gave birth instead. The baby would grow to the same size inside a bull and then hatch like an egg out of it in nine months. Bulls wouldn't grow back, so the average man has two chances at birth. Why would you wish for that? <laughs> like, why, why is that something you'd wish for? I don't know, man. Is, Some people have preferences, okay? So, like, whenever you get impregnated by another man, I guess, um, you, you're, one of your balls would just fall off and you'd care for it and you just dude, what a strange <laughs> why would that be your preference uh, well everyone's got their preferences right how can you judge really really, really oh nice. i oh how can i judge all cultures are beautiful uh, hi rags thoughts on disney's hello. 1973 robin hood um i really really like it i, I it's one of the when i was young i i watched on VHS. I, I really, really do like it. I, I enjoy it immensely. Everyone's so expressive and the music's great, and I think it was the cheapest movie that Disney ever made. Um, I've seen so Disney are apparently remaking it live action. They're gonna murder my boy. No. Not really. That can't... Google is your friend with this one, I guess. Robin Hood remake. It's only shown the shitty Robin Hood one from 2018. Disney developing live-action Robin Hood remake? No. No. I'm sorry. That can't, that can't be. Um, uh, from the same... The sources uh, who told us that Aladdin sequels happened, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Disney's currently in the early stages of developing a live-action reboot... Similar to the style of the recent Lion King of the 1973 classic. Fuck off. <laughs> it's gonna be shit. More things for them to just destroy. They're like, oh, Zootopia did well. Fuck it. Ugh, it's gonna be shit. Did the, maybe we'll get did some the Lady porn and the Tramp film come out? I don't even... Uh, isn't it on Disney Plus? Uh, I guess so. Tramp of 2019. That's probably where that'll end up. Disney Plus. It's... Let's see, on Rotten Tomatoes, oh, it's not, it's 65% uh, tomatoes, or tomato on the tomato meter, and only 57% from audience scores. And on IMDb, it's a 6.4, 6.3 out of 10. Damn, that's the Lady in the Tramp? Yeah. I actually well, the trailer, expected the, to... Watch the trailer, it looked terrible. Agreed, but, you know. I expected audiences to just be like, oh, this is great. Lion King did great, didn't it? I think so. I Probably. Let me check. <sighs> All right. Um, All right. So the Lion... Oh, that's interesting. The tomato meter for the Lion King is at 53%. Audiences are at 88%. Well, IMDb is a 7 out of 10. That's, you know, not terrible for IMDb. <sighs> They're gonna keep making them. Anyway.
Hi, Muller and Rags. You guys are the best. You've both made my life more fun and enjoyable. Why, thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, in response to that men giving birth super chat, every night I long for death. Oh. Yeah, that's a rough one to get through. I... that isn't... that is odd. He's just too bold for his time. Sometimes I wish we, I, sometimes I actually wish we wouldn't let people have opinions, because that's one of the ones I wouldn't allow you to have. You stop right there. Wrong think. You're like, stop that. Stop it. Uh, Google Haru Beastar if you need convincing. They're really selling us on this Beastar stuff. And, um, oh my goodness. Okay, Google activated. Stop it, Google. Rude. Um, you name a dog Rags to say, come Rags, come Rags. Oh. Oh no. Oh. <sighs> Can't escape some of these things, Rags, I'm sorry. Um, can Moleman, Rags, and Shad watch the World Fencing Championships when they have a Star Wars themed duel? I didn't know that was a thing. That sounds cool. Try and get Shad to review it, I guess. Also, there was yeah. a there was a high rags thrown into that as well. Hello. It's in brackets, but just because it's in brackets doesn't mean I don't read it out. It's the rule. Um. Uh, Longman, heard you didn't like my Captain Marvel review. Just wanted to tell you to never feel shy from critiquing anybody, even your fans. It's all G. Um. Captain Marvel review. Uh, Captain. I don't think I saw. I don't think I watched Anomaly's Captain Marvel review. Let me Anomaly Inc. Cap Ten Marvel. Um. Oh, that's the that's the multiple parter from June. Oh, I might have watched that. Yeah, because I was uh, I went through a lot of Captain Marvel reviews upon completion of mine. I tend to do that with anything. Uh, I'm covering to make sure I haven't succumbed to the bias tisms, right? Like, oh, this thing is terrible, and then I like like to look at other people's takes to make sure I'm not being completely unreasonable. Um, I don't think I've ever said anything about disliking your video anywhere, unless like, where did you hear this from? And if if I did, uh, I'd give you the olive branch that um, I've said this on EFAP before, but I'm not a fan of like a lot of YouTube content for many different reasons, like production values or um, uh, if reasoning isn't as accurate as I would prefer, that sort of thing. But um, I think I think you probably understand, as anybody here would, that I wouldn't necessarily want to, uh, I don't know, criticize like a fan of EFAP in any way. Like, like did I do this on Twitter? Because I don't remember. Because uh, I don't remember... I don't remember seeing it, and and part of it is because, dare I say it, it's long, but <gasps> there's, but there's so much on YouTube that, like, it's tough to watch it all, because YouTube is pretty much all I watch now, because it's got everything, so it's so stuff just always is slipping under the radar and everything. Uh, but yeah, I typically like I wouldn't relish in the idea of being like, haha, I think your video is terrible person who enjoys my content. That's not something I would prefer to do, especially not publicly, but um I can't tell you what Captain Marvel video reviews I liked, you know, before um I can't remember if I it's just it, that was how long ago was that now? It's like a year. <laughs> it's like I don't well, know, my memory spotty. I think they originally came out in March and then he released Edited versions in June, July. Yeah, fair Something enough. Like um, yeah, I might, I might not have uh, liked them, but um, also we all know why Jebby didn't block you. Do we? A lot of people are, th are trying to figure out why I haven't been blocked by uh, Jenny Nicholson on Twitter. Is there a reason for that? I didn't know one that was obvious. What do you reckon, Rags? Any theories? Say the question one more time, just so I'm sure. So a shit ton of people were blocked who are connected to the whole Jenny Nicholson debacle thing, even like that Star yeah. Wars guild's been blocked, loads of fans mm -hmm. have been blocked in blockchains, like, but I haven't been? Why? You're, you'd be too obvious. But, would anyone really care? Like, what would she lose by blocking me? Oh, it wouldn't look good. Really? She's blocked a lot I of people. So. She has, but not you. You're at the center of all this. 
Hmm. She can always say, I didn't block Mahler. True. That's always a, that's always like a little backup she can keep in her pocket. If people say, you're just blocking people. She could say, oh yeah, if that was true, how come I didn't block Mahler? He's the one who started all this. Hmm. <laughs> it's not even something she said, but I could totally see it. Yeah. Yeah, Jay just said even he was blocked. Yeah, okay. Um, hi, Rags. How's you and your fine doggo booty doing tonight? Oh, it's doing just fine. Me and my butt are doing great. There I'm feeling go. good tonight. I think mm -hmm. after the stream, I'm going to go to the store, get some food, some mm. booze, because i got a long day tomorrow. Uh, you recall Oscar Isaac as King of England in RCRH? Uh, what's RCRH? RCRH. Regional health. Make a difference every day. Wait. <laughs> um, Oscar Isaac. Uh, RCRH. Um... R C R H R C H Let me look through his let me go look through career. Well, either way, I'm probably not gonna recognize it. Um Romeo and Juliet no. But uh, uh hopefully it was good. R C R H. Help me out, chat. Throw me a bone. Oscar here. Isaac is Duke Leto or Duke Leto in the new Dune. Oscar Isaac is. Oh, that that I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with him being Duke Leto. That wouldn't be too bad at all. Um, Royal Canadian Redundancy Hospice. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, please please tell me what what is R H C H. I'm on the page. I'm looking for stuff. Uh, Robin Hood, R C R H. Oh, Russell Crowe, Robin Hood. Russell Crowe, Robin Hood. Uh, he was the Oscar King of England in that I film. I haven't seen it. Oh my God, he was. He yeah, he was. Yeah, he looks so different. Yeah. All right, good for him, I guess. I I I will say that I enjoyed the Russell Robin. I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? Yeah. Was that well, a, I I liked it. Who was it? It wasn't Ridley Scott that made that, was it, or was it? Yeah, it was. Oh, I can never remember exactly what he's made. Mhm. Mm All right. Um. Thanks for helping me get through my finals grind. Hi, Rags. Oh, hey, and you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Always happy to help. Make sure to get Razor Fist Metal Umlaut on if you cover Movie Bob's Game of Overthinker, as it's a clear parody of Razor. Yeah, okay, we're, we're on board with that. Long Man and Dog Man. Long Man and Dog Man. <laughs> Morley, you are wrong on Bulbasaur. He is objectively the best starter in terms of stats, competitive use, and typing. Charizard four times weak to rock. How how do how would I be wrong when I said it wouldn't I'm not talking about stats? I was exclusively it, no, the talking about the superficial. The no no in the world of Pokemon there is only stats. I was not talking about stats. There is only stats. I was talking about sexiness. I specifically There's... referred to Venusaur as being very sexiness unsexy. Is stat. Sexiness is a stat. Oh it's well, fine, the, uh, fine. He fails yeah. in the sexiness stat specifically. No, he succeeds. No. Charizard and Blastoise dominate look how thick Blastoise is. I know, right? Rags, would you rather poop eye to eye with that other guy or eat a pizza which also has pineapple on it? I'd rather eat a pizza that has pineapple <laughs> on it than poop eye to I eye. I feel with like someone. that that's first an easy off, question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, first off, let's say you're gonna poop with someone on this into the same toilet. Like you have to be like back to well, you'd have to one of you would have to be on the other person's lap. And that would just be like, Ooh. man, that would be I mean, I don't mind being on a man's lap. Might, but even, need a, might even need a custom throne at that point. Oh my goodness. Not like that. 
Uh, do the juice world. Not sure what that is. Juice world? Um, juice world. Juice world. Oh, isn't he the rapper who just died? I don't know. Is, he is... died. Yeah, he's that young rat. He died at 21. Yeah, he he died a couple days ago. Damn. Um, he had a. Let me. He died. Um. Let's see. He was aboard. Uh. Let me. Let's see. Uh. They say several members of Higgins' management team aboard the flight attested that Higgins had taken several unknown pills, including allegedly swallowing mul multiple Percocet pills to hide them while police were on board the plane Ooh. searching the luggage. He began convulsing and going into seizures, Damn. after which two doses of the emergency medication Narcan were administered as an opioid overdose was suspected. Um, apparently... Um, he was aboard a private Gulfstream jet flying uh, uh, from Van Nuys Airport in L.A. to uh, Chicago. Law enforcement officers were waiting for the jet to arrive as the pilot had notified them while in flight was uh, while the flight was en route that the jet was carrying guns and drugs. And indeed, they found three handguns and 70 pounds of marijuana on the aircraft. Wow. So I guess he swallowed some pills and um died because of it that's really tragic i mean there's a i mean obviously he didn't deserve to die from all that but man um, young guy only 21 yeah Same. i hope that Not in that. episode 9 they explain that palpatine used the force to ride one of the death star chunks to the surface and surfed on it through the ocean shouting unlimited power he used for a saddle and just rode that shit to the ocean. And ironically, if they had that scene, I would celebrate this film. I would legit love it. Uh, I started video editing, and I'm wondering, when I seam two audio clips together, sometimes I get a pop. Is this normal? Is there a way to reduce it? Um, no, I don't think that's normal. Um, maybe have them fade into one another instead of directly... And Honestly, like if you them a bit. if you type any variation of all that into like YouTube tutorials, you'll get lots of solutions, and then like actual visuals directing you on whatever specific software you use. Like the best mean rice could say is just like yeah, try and um, try and reduce the volume in that specific moment to prevent the pop. Um, hopefully that works, but it doesn't well, sound normal. The, apparently, the new Xbox console has been announced. Oh my. The Xbox Series X. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. All really, right. really good at uh, naming these things. That's what I found with them. Do you have an Xbox Series X? Like, why don't you just name things, name it something that's easy to say. How about that? I know it's like crazy. The Xbox Dyad. Do it. Hey, Rags, you are one sexy doggo. So glad I found oh, your channel. You. Uh, I'm glad you're watching. I'm glad you're part of the audience. I really, you're the kind of guy who makes it all happen. Mm -hmm. At least the expand season four might save me from the storm of terrible media this month. Yeah, could do, could do. Give it a shot. Rescue you from. Uh, oof, just yeah. Rise of Skywalker is not going to help. Um, this says forty-two. My mistake. I think it was. Referring to an old super chat, I will try and find it as we read more. Firebug, a man of culture, heavily underrated class. It's about the Killing Floor 2 thing, I think. Firebug is underrated. I played a lot and I do really well as it. I, th I think a lot of people don't play it well. I think that's the issue, but it's probably the best at what it's meant to do. Hey, what? Well, it's a uh, pretty good value for uh, weaponry that you get if playing solo yes. on hardest difficulties. That is a. It is even playing with other people. It's you get a lot of value out of the weapon. Oh, so Wolfhorn said what happened to episode forty-two rather than forty-one? Okay. Responding to extra credits. 
Uh, works for me. Let me just send Rags a link. Does it work for you? Take a look. Seven hours, 16 minutes. Yeah, it works for me. All right. Sometimes weird shit happens where, like, it might not be available on mobile or something, but as far as I'm aware, I can always check uh, later. It should be fine. Um, it would be unfair to put a clone trooper against a Spartan or put a mobile infantryman against an Adeptus Astartes assault marine. Oh yeah, I was saying that it would be an interesting tier list to uh, compare all of the super people then as well. I don't know if they did that or not. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been wondering, if Fred the Cosmic Chicken is God, Goliath is Satan, and Don is Jesus, then what is Tonald in this universe? I don't think Tonal submits to labels. He is whatever yeah. he must be. I would certainly be hesitant to label him. He might be a class of his own. Mm -hmm. Um... <clears throat> With YouTube's recent harassment policy update, do you worry that its vagueness might cause some of your EFAPs to come under fire? IDubs already had got to go, or got got. Um, yes, that's a possibility, and we'll have to deal with it as it comes. I don't know what's going to happen specifically to any of the episodes in particular, but they're certainly potentially in danger. Which is unfortunate, but I've got them all locally, and I'm sure a lot of people have been archiving EFAP in general, because... We have a bunch of fans, and a lot of them have gone down for different reasons in the past, so... They will never be lost to time, but... Who knows what will happen going forward. Um... Fairy Robin Hood is live action? Oh, I imagine they did, like, the, what they did with cats, but with Robin Hood. Ooh. Uh... It, I, here's the thing. One of the things that's so great about the 1973 is it, it's kind of like Zootopia in a sense of, by the way, haven't seen Zootopia, uh, but I've you know seen clips and stuff, mm -hmm. is that it's like, it, because of its style and the way it's animated, it's clearly cartoonish, but they're expressive and they can be sprightly and very emotive and that sort of thing. But it, you get this, you get the Lion King effect happening. I, the original Lion King was great because they were cartoons and you could give them enough anthropomorphic qualities. Um, but with the new, like, with a, but with the Lion King remake, they just look shit. You know, you don't get the same thing. It looks awful, and they're probably gonna ruin it. It's gonna be terrible. <sighs> I would say so. It's gonna look awful. We will do an EFAP mini looking at the trailer for it. I'm sure when it happens, and we will be sad. Um, the Home Alone remake is going to be awful. The thing is about the Home Alone remake is it doesn't affect me as badly as you may have expected because it seems just like it's just gonna be like Home Alone 4, where it was new kid, new new bully people, new new thieves, robbers, whatever, and it's just modern technology way of doing Home Alone, and it was bad. And this one's gonna be that again, but the I guess it's like a new wave of reboots. Like, that was the old wave that happened. It's not even necessarily a reboot if it was Home Alone 4, but we'll see what happens. Don't expect it to be good, though. I, um, I certainly don't. I have, I have no... no confidence in it at all to be good. Uh, can we call all the bad movies and series that come out and will come out this year to be the big tism of 2019? I think... If you consider Ghostbusters and then Terminator Genesis, this goes back to at least 2015, and it's clearly going to bleed into 2020. So, we're looking at a five-year span, I think. The big tism of 2015 to 2020. Um, they're better off making humanized versions of Disney Robin Hood if they plan on remaking it. I don't know, I just think it's stay away. You know? Stay away. It's great the way it is. Just stay away. Just leave it being good. People, everyone loves it. Just let it be loved by everybody. It's not like, it, it's almost, it's, like you, it's nowadays you can't just do something that's amazing and leave it. You <laughs> have to, it, it's almost like it's insurance. Like if people like it, that's your little insurance policy so that you can try and remake a new one. And if it's shit, it's like, oh, well, at least people like the old one. It's like they leverage people's joy of it against the money they could make. 
awful. I've had 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. Wow. That's gotta be rough on the old stomach, possibly. Um, I don't wanna- I don't wanna poop with you. <laughs> uh, I took a peek and you guys have to cover the Neral video before Rise of Skywalker. I, it's it's possible. I'll have to check it out. A lot of people have been talking about it. Um, I will kill Disney if they do a reboot of The Sword and the Stone. It's one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. My dad and I watch it every Christmas. Oh, Disney coming to destroy shit. Uh, you thought you could just like things. <laughs> uh, your name isn't based off the cum rags joke, is it? No, it oh. is not. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I think it's two toilets facing each other, custom built. I just uh, um, see there was me thinking it was a big custom throne that was built for two people to use at the same time, but I couldn't right. even get some frotting in. Oh well. Mm. Are y'all gonna cover that one guy from Twitter? I don't know no. who you are referring to. I'm afraid that one guy from Twitter. There's a lot of people on Twitter. Um. Have you heard of Renegade Cuts? He has some intelligent and interesting videos on movies, but he has some pretty woke takes on Marvel and Star Wars. Could make for good fodder on future EFAP. High rags. Hey! Possible, possible, possible. It's all possible. I'm not... I think I've heard the name before. But I'm not sure if I've seen any of the videos. I might have. I shall have to have a look-see. Um, are either of you familiar with the 1970 musical film adaptation of A Christmas Carol? Strongly recommend seeing it if you haven't already, or re-watching it if you have. Cheers. 1970 Christmas Carol? I feel like I would have seen that. Um, oh look, who's in it? Scrooge? I guess so. I feel like I've seen so many uh, variations of that story. Scrooge is a 1970 British musical film adaptation. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I have not seen Scrooge. Yeah, I don't. I'm not seeing anything that's taking me towards thinking I've seen it. Um, Alec Guinness was in it. Oh. Neato. Um, Eckhart's Ladder made a video on who would win with actual space marines between Halo 40k, Starship Troopers, and StarCraft. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that the Spartans from Halo are scoring pretty high on that one, but then again, like, surely space Starship marines. Troopers lose out of those four for sure. Oh yeah, the the Spartans are great, but uh, the Space Marines, uh, they 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 beat them all. Space Marines beat them all. Mm -hmm. Have you guys seen Chernobyl? It's probably the best show about the Soviet Union I've ever seen. Love Chernobyl. It was very good. Very much enjoyed. I saw it and enjoy. I watched them. I think all. I yeah, I watched them all. You got me started on them, and I just <laughs> we just rolled through them all, and I loved them. I thought they were fantastic. In fact, I have them on a USB that I'm going to bring to my parents, because mm. I want my father especially to see them. Uh, hey guys, just wanted to make this stream longer. Why, thank you, I you guess. You did it! And yeah, that's the last one. So, uh, that about does it. Um, for any we don't catch, we'll, we'll see them on the next EFAB, which should be Friday and Saturday. We're trying to get, we're gonna do a double bill. And then um, 21st is when we're expecting to do the Rise of Skywalker one, which, yeah, we're that close to it now, Rex. We're it's, getting it's there. Happening. We're so close. Um, we're so close. And then who knows what will happen in Star Wars. This EFAP mini will be put up on Moolah as soon as possible. Shouldn't take too long because uh, I think they do four hour processing thingies now. And we're under that. So I might actually be able to get the video straight away. I don't know. Either way. Thank you for watching this extended EFAP mini, and um, me and Rags shall see you in the future. Um, good night and goodbye, and thank you very much for all of the kind donations. We shall see you in the future. Absolutely. Good night, everyone. Thanks for showing up. Goodbye and goodbye. Hi, Taylor. Oh, oh, I thought this was not so oh, good. Oh, no. Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs>